be going and showing you guys my entire Blu-ray, 4K, and DVD collection. But first, hit that like button and subscribe button if you love all things horror. This channel is dedicated to horror films. And I thought this would be a great way to talk about some other movies that aren't horror. So let's get into this video. This video will be the probably easily the longest video I've ever done. So grab some snacks, grab some drinks, and let's get going. All right, this is all my Blu-rays, 4Ks, everything. And I, I have over 1,200. I counted like 1,250 plus titles, so. All right, first stack, all right, first title. Minions. I thought this this is the second Minions movie. I actually really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a great another installment of the series. I like the Despicable Me movie, so definitely a great movie here. And that's just the regular Blu-ray. Next up, we have The Black Phone. Another great little horror movie that came out last year with the Ethan Hawke. I thought this was pr a pretty good time. I definitely highly recommend The Black Phone. Now we got the Silent Night remake. I enjoy this movie too. I think I've only seen it once. I definitely need to watch it again. I just re I just bought this movie recently. But yeah, Silent Night, that's the remake. My favorite horror movie of last year. If you've watched my channel, you know this. Terrifier 2. Absolutely love Terrifier 2. I can't get enough of this movie. Can't get enough of Art the Clown. I love our girl Sienna. She's the final girl. I just love this movie. And I love that there's actually a different artwork underneath too. That's pretty awesome. Next up we have a kind of a mixed bag. Halloween ends. I definitely will watch this again someday. I, de I had to buy this. I had to own the entire Halloween collection. Half of a great movie. I don't know how you, how you look at it. If it's... If it's not a Halloween movie, this is pretty good. If it's a Halloween movie, you might be disappointed in this. It's hard to explain unless you see this movie. But that's Halloween Ends on Blu-ray. Next, we got the 4K of Rollerball. I have not seen this yet, but I'm very excited to check this out. I've been wanting to see this movie for a while now. And this just came out on 4K, so it probably will look pretty good. But that's the Rollerball 4K from Scream Factory. Now we got the Silent Night, Deadly Night, the three movie collection. This was super cheap, like 12 bucks. So if you like this, these movies, I highly recommend this set from Bestron. Great little set here. Now let's go through a few box sets before I get to some more individual titles. All right, let's do some uh, great box sets. We got the Star Trek collection. This is the 50th anniversary. This has all six of the original movies with the uh, original series and the animated series. This is a pretty awesome little set here. That's a cool box set for Star Trek fans. Another show I love is 24 with Kiefer Sutherland. Great box set. This is like nine seasons. I think this includes uh, Die Another Day. But this was a show I got on late after it was basically over. And fell in love with this show. Great like thriller. It's set in real time. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland is awesome in this. So if you haven't seen 24, very high recommend for me. All right, I've seen this show a few times now. That's the Buffy Complete Series. On DVD, I'm still waiting for Blu-ray. I want to see this show on Blu-ray like really, really bad. With a good HD master. I wish they'd get on that. But yeah, fun vampire show. Love this show. Now I have this on Blu-ray too, but this uh, DVD box set of Smallville is really awesome and I definitely kept this box set because it's really cool, even though I got the Blu-ray set now, but Smallville is a great Superman origin show that lasted like 10 years. This is a great show in my eyes. All right, I got the whole entire Marvel Cinematic Universe first, Captain America the First Avenger, pretty good superhero origin story. Miss Marvel, I enjoy this movie. I think it gets a little too much hate because of Brie Larson, but the 4K was slightly better looking than the Blu-ray, but there's Miss Marvel. The beginning of the universe, uh, Iron Man. This movie still holds up pretty well. It's a great Robert Downey Jr. is awesome in this movie. Really enjoy the first Iron Man. Even now more than I did when it first came out. Got the Blu-ray of Iron Man 2. 
not the best movie. There's some good moments in this, but definitely one of their weaker movies in the series. But still somewhat enjoyable in parts. Alright, The Incredible Hulk Blu-ray. I actually enjoy this one. I think this is a little bit underrated. I, I like this quite a bit. There's some great uh, uh, CGI fights between the Hulk and Abomination. Edward Norton was really good in this too. So I think this is a little underrated and like a dark black sheep of the franchise but I still like The Incredible Hulk. Thor, another movie that's grown on me quite a bit since it first came out. Still one of my least favorite Thor movies but I enjoy this quite a bit so that's Thor. Of course The Avengers, I absolutely love this movie. It's a little cheesy now 10 years later but I still really like this. Still a really really good time. And this felt so big and epic when it first came out. So yeah, love this movie today. Next we got Iron Man 3. Actually, I really enjoy this movie. I like the Christmas setting. I like how you spend a lot more time out of the Iron Man suit in this movie. A lot more time with Tony Stark and the, him dealing with the aftermath of the New York climax and the Avengers. So I actually really enjoy Iron Man 3. Thor The Dark World, I think this is a super, super average movie. I think the villain is just one of the most unfor most forgettable villains ever in the MCU. But I still enjoy this somewhat, like at the climax when they're going through like the different portals and everything. It's definitely one of the weaker movies, but I still somewhat get a decent time out of Thor The Dark World. Alright, we got the... This is the Blu-ray in the 3D, but I just watched the Blu-ray, but... Captain America the Winter Soldier one of my favorites in the series and this is like so so good in my eyes it's like a political th thriller Captain America is great the Winter Soldier is great Black Widow Nick Fury like this movie is spectacular in my eyes I absolutely love the Winter Soldier now we got the Blu-ray of Guardians of the Galaxy. Such a fun movie. I love this group of people, especially when they showed up with the Avengers. But yeah, great, great first movie to the series. Can't wait for part three, but there's the Blu-ray of Guardians of the Galaxy. Now I got the 4K of Guardians of the Galaxy part two, volume two. This 4K looks pretty great. And uh, yeah, this is a fun movie. I, I don't understand. Some people seem to not like this one, but I, I still enjoy it. It's not as good as the first, but still very enjoyable in my eyes. Another movie I really enjoy that I think it gets a little too much hate, that is Avengers Age of Ultron. This is the Blu-ray 3D, of course. I can't watch the 3D, but I enjoy this quite a bit. Uh, I liked Ultron. I wish it was a little more serious. Uh, I remember the trailers really depicted him as a super serious villain and of course that's not how he exactly was in the movie but this is I still like this movie quite a bit it's not as good as the first in my eyes but it's still really really fun speaking of fun Ant-Man love Paul Rudd as Ant-Man great movie here I have so much fun every time I watch this and like I said Paul Rudd is just so charismatic and he's just perfect in this movie love Ant-Man Another one of my favorites in the series is Captain America Civil War. This was like Amer uh, Avengers 2, Avengers 2.5, but it was still a very much a, the last chapter of the Captain America trilogy. Love this movie, and I, I like seeing the Avengers split. But it was still, it was like the climax was suspenseful. I didn't want to see anybody get hurt, but... Yeah, the, and I understood both sides. I understood Captain America's side and Iron Man's side. So they did a great job with that. But yeah, Civil War definitely is going to be one of my favorites for probably years and years to come. Black Panther, pretty good, but I thought this movie was a little underrated. I liked the villain quite a bit. Um, I think it's kind of a middle-of-the-road movie. Uh, but I still have a lot of fun with Black Panther. Spider-Man Homecoming on Blu-ray. Really enjoy this movie too. This is a great time. I like, like the, uh, your neighborhood Spider-Man. Like he's just taking care of the neighborhood. He, kind of a smaller scale version. I like how Tony Stark is kind of his mentor in this movie. But yeah, very good movie I thought. And, uh, yeah, I like Tom Holland a lot. 
Doctor Strange. I thought this was a kind of another kind of in the middle of the series, like middle of the road type movie with the origin story. But after this movie, I absolutely love Doctor Strange. So yeah, decent movie. Just I love the character more than the movie on the first one. Thor Ragnarok. This is my favorite Thor movie. So fun. It's funny. It has some serious parts, some great characters. I love that the Hulk is in this. I I love Thor Ragnarok, and yeah, this is the Blu-ray and DVD, but yeah, love this movie, and I could watch this over and over. I just have so much fun every time I watch this movie. It's insane. Love Thor Ragnarok. Got the 4K of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, cool little lenticular cover. I enjoyed this quite a bit. I think I liked the first one more, but I had quite a bit of fun with this, and I, I love Michelle Pfeiffer and she still looks gorgeous today, but yeah, there's the 4K of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Next, the 4K of Black Widow. I, I enjoy this movie, but I'm like with a lot of people, why did they not make this five years before? Because her fate was already sealed, and why are they doing like a movie after Silver War and before uh, Infinity War? But still enjoyed this, uh, probably more than a lot of people. Alright, this is easily one of my favorites in the series. Maybe my favorite in the series. Avengers Infinity War. Absolutely love this movie. The first time they all come together. This movie just blew my mind when it first came out. Thanos is an amazing villain. They finally did like the best villain in the MCU in this movie. But yeah, love this movie to death. Alright, the 4K of Avengers Endgame. Love this movie too, just not quite as high as an in Infinity War, but the last hour of this movie might be the best last hour of any superhero movie ever. Like they gave us exactly one, what we wanted for over 10 years. This is a great movie. I just have a little more fun with Infinity War than Endgame, but still spectacular. Got the 4K of uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Really enjoyed this movie too, and I, I liked... Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in this. I even like the back artwork on that. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one too. As you can tell, I'm a big uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe fan. Shang-Chi, This is we're, now we're getting into Phase 4. Shang-Chi, really enjoyed it. Not one of my favorites in the series, but still had a good time. Alright, another Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. The 4K of The Eternals. I enjoyed this more than a lot of people. I had a good time with it, and I did like the characters, and I would like to see more of these characters. So I enjoyed The Eternals. 4K of Spider-Man No Way Home. If you're a Spider-Man fan, this movie was truly amazing. I absolutely loved this. I watched it like more than once in theaters, and kind of getting the, all the three Spider-Mans together was truly amazing and it worked out really well. Getting all the other villains from all three universes from the movies was spectacular. Love this movie. Next up we got John Cena 12 Rounds. I enjoy this movie quite a bit. It's a good little action movie so if you haven't seen this one it's a, a recommend for me. 30 Days a Night, really great vampire movie. Some spooky scenes in this. Uh, the vampires are creepy. It's darkness for 30 days straight. So yeah, this is a really good underrated movie. And I, I'm a big fan of Josh Hartnett too. So yeah, good stuff here. Chadwick Boseman and 54. This is another pretty good movie. I've only watched it once since I bought this Blu-ray. I definitely need to watch this again. But yeah, that's 54 about uh, Jackie Robinson. Recommend that movie if you haven't seen it yet. I love this movie. This is like a romantic movie. 500 Days of Summer. I feel like not enough people talk about this. This was a really good movie. And yeah, just some great performances and a pretty great storyline. It's kind of told in a different order. But yeah, that I highly recommend 500 Days of Summer. Got 976 Evil. This is the only movie Robert Eng England directed. But this is a decent fun time if you kind of like some uh, kind of a different horror movie. Pretty good time. Now I got the 4K of 1917. This movie is beautiful on this 4K. So if you want a beautiful 4K picture, grab this 4K. And this is a great movie too. It's like kind of made to look like it's all in one shot. Like the entire 
like the entire movie. So yeah, I highly recommend 1917. Great war movie. Underrated gem, and I, I did review this movie if you want to look for it on my channel. I might put the card at the end of this giant video. The Accused with Jodie Foster. High recommend. She, get, she gets raped at the beginning, and it's showing her kind of deal with it and the trial and the aftermath of everything. If you've never seen this, this is a great 80s movie, so definitely recommend The Accused. I got the 4K of The Addams Family. Now, this 4K looks super great for, for a movie from the early 90s. Man, what a great transfer this is. Fun movie today. Got some concert films. Aerosmith, uh, Rock for the Rising Sun. Pretty and really enjoyable concert if you like Aerosmith. Definitely... I'm, I'm a big fan of concert movies, uh, so yeah, so recommend this if you love Aerosmith. Great 90s action movie with Harrison Ford, Air Force One. If you haven't seen this and you like some 90s action, you definitely need to check this out. He's like the president and they take over the plane and everything. Great, great time. Love this movie now, still. Uh, the Aladdin Blu-ray, uh, the cartoon version. Love this movie, grew up with this movie. Still love it today. Yeah, I could watch this movie anytime and just get such joy out of this movie. So yeah, the Aladdin cartoon. Now I got the 4K of the live action Aladdin with Will Smith. I really enjoyed this remake. Uh, I still prefer the cartoon. But yeah, I enjoyed this quite a bit. So yeah, Aladdin live action version. Alex Cross. Uh, a movie I... Don't think I've watched yet. So there's one movie I've never seen in my collection with Tyler Perry. So I can't say much about this one. Got the uh, original Alice in Wonderland cartoon. Just classic Disney hair. Now I got the Arrow version of Alice Sweet Alice. What a pretty good 70s like pre-slasher movie. And like there's like this clear creepy mask in the movie with the somebody in a raincoat but yeah if you if you love some uh, classic horror i do recommend alice sweet alice and the arrow version is a great version if you want it on physical media the 4k of alien covenant not my favorite alien movie but i enjoyed it in parts uh i think i liked it more than prometheus i don't know they're about even for me it's like i said it's not my favorite but this 4k did look really great so definitely recommend it for the picture quality Oh, I love this movie, All Cheerleaders Die. What a goofy, stupid, fun time. I can't recommend this enough. If you like cheesy movies, definitely get this. And this came out in the 2013. So yeah, this is a high recommend if you just love dumb fun. I mean, I enjoy this to death and nobody, nobody talks about this hardly ever so yeah i have to recommend this the 4k of ambulance now this 4k looked spectacular this is a michael bay movie it's not a super super great movie but it's really enjoyable it's got some good action so yeah i i recommend this the blu-ray of almost famous now i need to watch this again i've only seen it once since i bought it but i remember enjoying it so definitely need to do for a rewatch on this American Horror Story Season 1. This is the only season season I've seen all the way through. But I love the first season of this. I kind of wish they didn't do the anthology. I wish they would have stuck with, stuck with like this family and just kept going with the same story. But yeah, I love the first season. I need to watch this whole season. This is uh, American Horror Story Asylum, the second season. I've only watched a couple episodes of this season, but yeah, I need to watch this one too. Cool slipcover. American Sniper, a pretty good war movie. I need to watch this again. This is based on a true story, but yeah, this was a good movie from what I remember. An American Werewolf in London Blu-ray. This is the restored version. It looks pretty good. I guess there's a 4K now, but I like this uh, slipcover quite a bit. This is a great werewolf movie from the early 80s. 80s. Now we have Amusement. Uh, this is a low budget horror movie, but it has some good moments. So I, I recommend this if you love uh, some low budget horror. Uh, there's kind of, This clown is kind of creepy too, but I recommend this one. Great comedy, Anchorman, love this movie. I feel like we don't get enough comedies anymore like this, but I love the first Anchorman on Blu-ray. 
Not as good as the first, but still somewhat enjoyable. Anchorman 2. This came out like 10 years after the first one. Now, this is a thriller I highly recommend. This came out in the 80s. About like this teenager, she's like a prostitute. She goes to school during the day and then she has to do deal with the prostitute stuff at night. This I if you've never seen this, watch this if you're a horror fan, non-horror fan, just high recommend a great 80s movie. And the vinegar syndrome picture quality is amazing on this Angel Blu-ray. And a kind of a run-of-the-mill kind of John Wick uh knockoff. I mean it's got a couple good moments. I've only watched it once, so I definitely need to watch Anna again. It might be pretty good, even better the second time around. Can't tell you. I've only, only seen it once. Yeah, Annabelle Creation. Really enjoy this movie quite a bit. I like the, the cast. The little kids in this is great. The setting, the, the time period. Just really enjoy Annabelle Creation. Now, the first Annabelle... Not quite as good as creation, but there is some still some great moments, some creepy moments with the uh, Annabelle doll. So I am a big fan of the Conjuring universe, even if some of them isn't like spectacular in that universe. Annabelle Comes Home. I enjoyed this one quite a bit too. Annihilation. Pretty enjoyable. The ending gets a little crazy, but it is kind of a beautiful movie to look at and stuff. So yeah. Oh, and the director of Ex Machina, which I will be talking about that movie later. That is a great movie. So yeah, this is a decent movie. 4K of Aquaman. Now, this might be one of the best looking 4Ks there is. This movie is so beautiful on 4K. And the movie's really fun too. So if you want like a 4K uh, demo disc, Aquaman is definitely one a way to go on that. One of my favorite 90s movies ever action movies ever michael bay armageddon i could watch this movie over and over saw this in the theaters when i was like 10 11 years old and absolutely love this movie even to this day i know it's dumb fun but it's just that fun bruce willis is great everybody's great in this love armageddon to death ah the blu-ray of season one of ash versus evil dead love that lenticular cover i absolutely love this TV series, I love the entire movie series. I will definitely be doing a review series leading into Evil Dead Rise, probably starting right after this video goes up, because this will be my two year anniversary video. And then yeah, I'll be starting the Evil Dead review series. But yeah, I love this TV show. I will include the TV show in the review series, because I kind of, as part of the movie series. I you got Ash vs. Evil Dead 2. Season 2, another great season. I like the colors on the back of that uh, slipcover. But yeah, great stuff still. Ask First Evil Dead Season 3. I wish this got another season because this doesn't really have like a closing. It kind of ends on a cliffhanger and I absolutely love this show. Assassination Nation. I've seen this only once. I thought it was a decent time. Can't remember too much about it, but yeah. Oh, movie I love. Baby Driver absolutely love this movie Edgar Wright kills it in this and the whole cast kills it the music the the driving the everything this the story love this movie to death definitely watch this if you've never seen Baby Driver Baby Mama pretty decent comedy that I recommend with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler that's Baby Mama on blu-ray got this awesome 4k still book of Bad Boys 1 and 2 Love both of these movies. Uh, Will Smith, uh, Martin Lawrence. It's a uh, three disc set, but yeah. Great little set here. Love Bad Boys 1 and 2. Speaking of love and one of the biggest surprises ever in my eyes, the 4K of Bad Boys for Life. This was like one of the biggest surprises ever when I watched this movie. I was not expecting much because it was like ugh, maybe 15 years since Bad Boys 2. But loved it as much as Bad Boys 2. And it was kind of like a kind of like an updated version of Lethal Weapon 4, kind of, if you look at it like that. But I love this movie. The 4K of the Batman. Uh really good Batman movie. But I'm one of the ones that still prefer the Nolan trilogy. But this is a great start, a great new beginning, and a great I would like to see a lot more Robert Pattinson. So I definitely want a part two to this. This was really good. I'd like to see like the more the uh, 
Detective Batman and everything. So yeah, good stuff there. One of the coolest still books ever in my eyes. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. There's one side and there's the other. Love this still book. And it's a decent movie. I prefer the longer cut, but yeah. Not the best movie ever, but very enjoyable superhero movie. I need to watch this again. I think this is like the original TV movie for Battlestar Galactica from like the 80s or something. It's been a long time since I've seen this, so I can't say much about this one. Oh, I love this movie, Booksmart. Uh, Olivia Wilde directed this. This was her directorial debut, but this is kind of like a coming of age movie, and I enjoyed the heck out of this. Can't recommend Booksmart enough. Of course, I got Beauty and the Beast cartoon. Great movie. I love this movie today. I don't care if you make fun of me, but I love Beauty and the Beast. Great music, great animation. Just love it. All right, I got this awesome still book of Beetlejuice. Love this still book. Love this movie too, and Michael Keaton's really awesome in this. Just an 80s classic. Got a very underrated horror movie in my eyes, Bereavement. Absolutely love this movie, and uh, this was one of the first things uh, Alexandra Daddario was in. And this kind of has some of the vibes of the original Halloween, but if you've never seen this, this is a high recommend if you're a horror fan. Love this movie, and I feel like nobody is talking about this movie nearly enough. Better watch out. A decent Christmas horror movie. Definitely need to watch this again, but I remember having a decent time with this one. The Bible, the epic miniseries. This was actually a really good miniseries. I recommend this if you're into the Bible. Now I got The Big Bang Theory Season 1, Season 2, and this is definitely one of the best sitcoms of all time in my eyes, Season 3. It definitely goes up there with like Friends and all those classics. Uh, Cosby Show, I love The Cosby Show. Um, yeah, great, great sitcom. Love the entire cast on this. Season 4 or 5. Season 6. Yeah, season 7. Season 8. Season 9. This thing lasted forever. Season 10. 11. And 12. So yeah, 12 seasons. Great little sitcom here. Love it. A show or a movie I actually really enjoyed, but a lot of people seem to be mixed. This is a 4K of Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn movie. I really enjoyed this movie. Probably a lot more than some, but yeah, I thought it was a good time. Oh, I love this movie. Wesley Snipes and Blade. One of the great vampire movies. Uh, it's actually a comic book adaption too, but... This is one I could just watch over and over. It's like comfort food. Grew up with this movie and still love it today. But my favorite of the trilogy, Blade 2, absolutely love Blade 2. They took everything about the first one, I think, and they just made it all better and bigger. And the villains in this is amazing. So yeah, love Blade 2. A step down, but I still enjoyed Blade Trinity a little bit. It definitely is the weakest of the three, but Ryan Reynolds still is just showing this. He's so freaking awesome in this movie. And one of his earlier movies. So yeah, Blade Trinity. Okay, Blade Runner 2049. Now, I like the original Blade Runner, but I love love this movie this movie is visually spectacular this 4k has perfect picture great story harrison ford gives a great performance ryan gosling like everything about this movie is beautiful visually storytelling just everything i loved blade runner 2049 definitely need to watch that again soon good little football movie the blind side with sandra bullock i really like this kind of uh like a drama, some sad parts, but I highly recommend The Blind Side. Now, a uh, Blood Games, the Blu-ray. I absolutely love Blood Games. It like came out in the early 90s. It's violent. It's like about these baseball teams. They lose, One of them loses, and the, the guys can't handle it, and they try to get revenge on the girls. But this was one of the biggest surprises of a movie I've never heard of in my life. And I enjoyed the crap out of this. So if you kind of want some cheesy but some violence and everything from the early 90s, can't go wrong with Blood Games. Such a surprise in my eyes. Love this movie. 
Next, we got an, uh, another great uh, release from Era Video that is Blood Rays. Now, this is like a Thanksgiving slasher from the 80s. Highly recommend this movie. This is a fun time. Never heard of it before I got this Era Video release. Absolutely really enjoyed the crap out of this. It's not like a super different slasher, but it is a really fun slasher. So, highly recommend Blood Rage. What a good time. The Blues Brothers from the 80s. This is such a fun comedy. I definitely recommend this if you've never, for some weird reason, never seen this. But, great comedy. Great 90s thriller breakdown with Kurt Russell. I did a review on this release if you want to check it out. But, I love this movie. I grew up with this movie when it first came out. And, I still like it today. And, uh, the Paramount's Present line, they... Uh, remastered this and this looked really really good so highly recommend this release and it actually opens up too you get like the original theatrical poster that's pretty cool next we got brave pretty decent movie i definitely need to watch this again i i do really like pixar movies i haven't really been keeping up with them lately like but yeah this was pretty good what i remember from it one of my favorite 80s movies ever the breakfast club this is just one of those Really feel good movies. One of those movies I could watch over and over. There is some dramatic moments, but I think it's a perfect movie. Just people in detention, but the cast is great and it just works for me and I just love it every time I watch it. Love this movie. Breakthrough. This is a spiritual type movie, but it's really good. It's got some sad moments, but I highly recommend this if you're into that stuff. I know this is a horror channel, but I still like that. Oh, I love this movie, Bridesmaids. This movie was so, so funny. I have so much fun with this movie. What a stellar cast. Melissa McCarthy. Uh, so many great people in this. And yeah, I could just put this on and have a good time every time I watch it. And I can't believe we never got a sequel to Bridesmaids. But I love this movie to death. One of the better Transformers, Bumblebee. This was a big surprise for me. Loved it. Great, great time, Bumblebee. I think this is one of the best thrillers of the 2000s. That is the butterfly effect. Absolutely love this movie. And I like the director's cut. That's the version I recommend watching. Aston Kutcher is great in this. And there's a lot of good twists and turns in this. Definitely one of the most underrated 2000s thrillers. Absolutely love the butterfly effect. Ah, the cabin in the woods. I need to watch this again. Look at that awesome lenticular slipcover. But this is such a good time and like a really original type movie. If you love horror and comedy all rolled into one, you probably will love The Cabin in the Woods. And it was before Chris Hemsworth was uh, Thor, so. The Caller, this was a movie I never heard of before I got this release with Malcolm and Dow. High recommend, I don't want to give nothing away, but if you've never seen this movie, seek this out and watch it. It was a great, great surprise for me, The Caller. Got the 4K of the Candyman sequel, Legacy sequel. Pretty good movie. I like the original more, but this was a really good continuation. They avoided two and three. So yeah, I thought this was really good time. I think this movie is super underrated. Not enough people talking about it. Case 39. Just watch this movie. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give nothing away, but yeah, love this movie. Next, I have not seen this yet. It's based on a true story. The Case for Christ. Haven't watched this one yet. So I can't say anything about it. One of my childhood favorites, Casper. Love this movie, even today. And I think it's better, even as an adult, you see some stuff going on in this movie that you didn't catch as a kid and everything. And I did a retrospective on this movie, so I highly recommend that. That's on my channel. I might put that somewhere up here right now or at the end of the video. Changeling. This is a great movie with Angelina Jolie about her uh, daughter goes missing or something. It's been a long time but uh, since I've seen it, but I remember really, really liking this movie. I got the 4K of Children of the Corn. This is the best this movie has ever looked. It do still doesn't look great, but this is a great release from Arrow. Decent Stephen King adaption. All right, the Child's Play remake. A movie I don't hate. A movie I actually enjoy, so there's that. Classic John Carpenter and Stephen King, Christine. 
If you're a horror fan, especially if you li like my channel, you've probably seen this. Just a great time. Another great time, Chucky Season 1. Man, I really enjoyed this uh, TV show. I was shocked by how much fun I, I had with it. Towards the last couple episodes, it kind of wasn't as great as like the first six episodes or so, but still had a lot of fun with this show. The original Class of the Titans. All right, three movies I've rewatched recently because a new one, and I enjoyed all three. I can't believe how good these were. Uh, Clerks, actually my least favorite of the three, but still a really good movie. It's in black or white. It definitely had a super low budget, but a good movie. Kevin Smith, of course, Jay and Silent Ball, my favorite of the three. Clerks 2, love this one. This is a great time. And what a giant surprise. Clerks 3, I, I enjoy this movie so much. And it's kind of like the perfect end of the Clerks trilogy. It's really emotional by the end of the movie. I mean, it's still funny, but it gets emotional. I was shocked by how good this really was. I mean, I can't recommend Clerks 3 enough if you like the first two. Great, great ending. Love this 90s action cliffhanger with Stallone. Just awesome, awesome movie. Love it today. Great villain. Uh, the setting and uh, the snow, the mountains. Just an awesome movie. Next up on Blu-ray, we got the three Cloverfield movies. Now, I like the first one, but... Uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane is my favorite. I absolutely love that one. The 4K of Coco, pretty good Pixar movie. Ah, oh, I love Collateral. I could watch this anytime. Tom Cruise is spectacular in this movie. Jamie Foxx is really good in this movie. Just a great thriller, and it kind of turns into a slasher movie by the end of it. I think this is one of Tom Cruise's best movies. Love this movie. Ah, oh, The Collector. The same writers who wrote Saw 4 through 7. And this is a really good time. And I think the collector is a little bit under underrated villain. This is a pretty tense movie. Great movie. But the collection, the sequel, is maybe better. This is such a good time. And the collector is even more awesome in this movie. So yeah, I love the collection. 90s action to perfection. Con Air with Nicolas Cage. This is easily one of my favorite action movies of all time. And there's like no CGI. I kind of miss the days of no CGI. I kind of miss like the testosterone of this movie. The entire cast is great. Love this movie. And I could watch this, put this on at any time and just have a blast with Con Air. Love it. Conjuring, the first one, love this movie too. Such a great horror movie, spooky. James Wan is like directing, like is amazing in this one. Love The Conjuring, of course. But I actually, as much as I love the first one, I like the second one just slightly more. And I think this was my favorite horror movie the year it came out. Love, love The Conjuring too. Love it. And you spend more time with the Warrens in this one and I actually care about the Warrens more even even more in this one. A little bit of a step down, The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It, but I still like this movie, but it is definitely a step down from the first two. Contact, uh, 90s Alien movie with Jodie Foster. It's been a long, long time, but I remember enjoying this movie. Cool World, kind of a Who Framed Roger Rabbit knockoff. That's all I could say about it right now. It was a decent time though. Courageous, another one of those kind of spiritual, uplifting movies. Kind of sad in moments, but great movie if you've never seen Courageous. Ah, Coyote Ugly. This is one I definitely grew up with. And I still enjoy this movie today. I, I like it a lot, Coyote Ugly. Crank, what an uh, adrenaline-pumping, non-stop action movie, Jason Statham. This movie's insane, and I love every second of Crank. Crawl. Awesome monster move, crocodile movie. Good time. The Crazies. One of the better horror remakes out there that's probably a little bit underrated. There's actually some really creepy moments in this movie. Crazy Stupid Love. Just a really good like romantic movie. One of the better ones out there. Steve Carell. Ryan Gosling. Emma Stone. Just the, If you haven't seen this, even if you don't love romantic comedies... This is one of the best ones out there in my eyes. Ah, love Creed. Love the entire Rocky series. Love this one just as much as some of the Rocky movies. 
I was so shocked when I saw this amazing movie. Not quite as good as the first, but I still love Creed 2. Aha, I like the Croods a lot. What a good, fun, like animated movie. Love it. The 4K of the Croods 2, A New Age. I might like this one even more than the first, even though I love the first. This was such a fun time. Did a review on this, The Crow. Definitely check it out on my channel. What an awesome movie, and Brandon Lee is was made for this role, and I like it every time. I like it more and more every time I see it. Can't recommend The Crow enough. We need like a 4K with a new transfer. I would love to see that for this movie. Ah, a stellar documentary, Crystal Lake Memories. This thing's like seven hours long, all about Friday the 13th. Can't recommend this enough if you love Friday the 13th. What a stellar documentary. Cult of Chucky, kind of a cool lenticular cover there on the Blu-ray. I like this movie. It's not one of the best in the series, but I still had some fun, even though it was like a direct-to-DVD, low-budget movie, all set out in a Salem Asylum. Chucky's still good. I really enjoyed this one. I need to watch this again. This is a werewolf movie, The Cursed. I enjoyed this one, but this is another one of those ones I need to check out again. Now we got the Warner Archive collection of The Curse of Frankenstein. Decent 70s horror movie. The Curse of La Llorona. Had some decent scares. Definitely one of the weaker, I guess it's part of the Conjuring universe. Unofficially maybe, but yeah, decent movie. We got a Van Damme triple, triple pack. Cyborg, Death Warrant, Double Impact. If you just love the 80s and 90s action movies, you probably will love this set. Great, great set. And I think if I had to pick which one I like the best on this one, I would probably pick Double Impact. Got the 4K of Dark Crystal. This looked amazing on 4K. What a great restoration. This is a great movie too. So yeah, I highly recommend this 4K. Love this comedy, Date Night. Just a really good time. Really good comedy with Tina Fey and Steve Carell. Another 90s action I grew up with, Daylight with Stallone. Love this movie even today. And even we even got like a young Daniel Harris in this. Uh, people get trapped in this tunnel. Just a great 90s action in my eyes. Deadpool, such a fun movie. Don't got to say much about this. Everybody just watch Deadpool. Deadpool 2, still a really good time. Not as good as the first in my eyes, but uh, Cable was really cool in this movie. So yeah, Deadpool 2. Kind of a typical slasher movie, Deadly Manor, but this is a great release from uh, Arrow Video. Death at a Funeral, great movie, watch it. And this is the remake. Great movie though. Definitely maybe. I've only seen this like once. This is another one. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, I need to watch this again. Deja Vu with uh, Denzel. Love this movie. Kind of a, like a time travel movie. He goes back to save this woman he ends up falling in love with. Great movie if you've never seen this one. Aha, Demons. What an awesome horror movie. A lot of great scary moments. Even the look of the demons are awesome. Can't recommend this movie enough. What an awesome movie. Demons 2, not as good, but still a good movie. Den of Thieves. This was a giant surprise for me. I love this movie. I can't recommend this enough. Gerard Butler, uh, even 50 Cent's in this. But if you like kind of action thrillers, bank robbery movies, I can't recommend Den of Thieves enough. One of my, probably one of my most fa favorite horror movies of, of all time, especially the 2000s that he's sent. Scary, claustrophobic. Creatures in this are awesome. If you love horror and you haven't seen this, what are you doing? Watch this movie. Despicable Me. Love these movies. Despicable Me 2. And 3. Love all three of those. Concert uh, concert film. Destiny's Child. They actually put on a pretty good show. I recommend this if you like R&B, especially from the early 2000s. One of the biggest surprises ever, Dr. Sleep. This is a sequel to The Shining, and I cannot believe how much I fell in love with this movie. And don't shoot me, but I might like this more than The Shining. It's more, a little more entertaining. The Shining is a classic, but I actually might prefer this over that movie. Everybody can shoot me right now and throw tomatoes at the screen. But yeah, that's just my honest thoughts. Dolly Dearest, not that great. Don't Breathe, really fun. 
Do You Believe, another spiritual faith-based movie, but really good one. The 4K of Dracula looks amazing. This is the early 90s, Bram Stoker's Dracula. What an amazing transfer. Pretty good movie, too. All right. All right, if you're still with me, thank you so much. And don't forget to hit that like button because that definitely helps the algorithm. And I'm having fun talking about other movies besides horror. It's kind of fun. Dream Demon, Nightmare on Elm Street, Knock Off. But decent movie. Dread, one of the most underrated, best action movies ever made. That's all I say about Dread. Really fun movie, Drumline. The Duff, a movie I really, really enjoyed. So if you kind of like those kind of coming of age teen comedies, kind of, I recommend The Duff quite a bit. Okay, I can't wait for part two of this. And this, for me, is a visual masterpiece, Dune. This is the 2020 version, I believe. It came out in 2020 or 2021. But this is visually one of the most stunning movies ever. Same director as Blade Runner 2049, so no surprise there. I think this will be even better when we get part two. So this is only like half the story. But yeah, great, great movie. Oh, great concert movie. It's like over three hours long. The Eagles Farewell One concert. They just have great music and they put on a great concert. Earth Girls Are Easy. Pretty decent 80s movie. It's it's not the one of the best 80s movies ever, but... I enjoyed this one. Another kind of generic slasher, Edge of the Axe, but a great release from Arrow Video. One of my favorite sci-fi action movies ever. Edge of Tomorrow. I hate that they got Live, Die, Repeat. This is called Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt. One of the best Tom Cruise movies ever. Love this movie. Great action, great story, great twist. Love it. Kind of like an action version of Groundhog Day. Edward Scissorhands, love this movie too. Great, great Tim Burton movie. Elf, oh, it's Elf, so that's all I got to say about that. Great comedy. The Still Book of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. What a great Still Book. This is an Arrow release. Uh, really fun, fun character, fun 80s movie. Great time. Ender's Game. I, I enjoy this movie. I thought it was pretty good, kind of sci-fi type movie. Now we got Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Movies I grew up with, Ernest Goes to Camp and Ernest, Ernest Goes to Jail. Love Ernest. Ernest Scared Stupid, another childhood favorite. Escape Room. Enjoyed this one, but I loved uh, Escape Room Tournament of Champions, especially the theatrical cut. I think the extended cut kind of ruined the movie. I really enjoyed the theatrical version of this. Classic E.T. Love this movie. Evanescence uh, Synthesis Live. This is a stellar, stellar concert film. Uh, especially the versions of the songs. I And they have like an, an entire orchestra. Can't recommend this concert enough. Alright, love this Evil Dead still book. This is the Blu-ray. But yeah, love this still book. I will be reviewing this series soon. Probably starting right after the, when this video, this video comes out. So be looking out for my Evil Dead review series. But such a fun series. Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead Remake. Love the remake. Absolutely love this one. Violent. More serious. Uh, I even like uh, the final girl in this. Love everything about this remake. Ex, Ex Machina. Great movie. Face Off. Another perfect 90's action films. Nicolas Cage. John Travolta, love this movie to death. Can watch it anytime. Kind of like Con Air. One of my favorite movies from the late 90s. The Faculty. Great cast, great story. I love this movie. Love, love this one. Fade to Black, a huge surprise. I never saw this before that I got this Vinegar Syndrome release. And this is a great movie. Fall, pretty good movie. About two girls on a, a water tower or on a tower. But yeah, that was a pretty good movie. Fast and Furious, the first one. Too Fast, Too Furious. Fast Five, absolutely love this one. This is my favorite still of the series. Perfect mix of absurdity. The Rock shows up. Just a perfect action movie in my eyes. Still love uh, Fast and Furious 6. Still love that one. This is the still book. Furious 7, kind of the last good Fast and Furious. It kind of went downhill after Paul Walker left us, but they did the best they could. Pretty fun movie. 
And a great, great send off to Paul Walker. Now I'm thinking, why are we still doing this? Fast and Furious 8, or Fate of the Furious, and the, the titles. Why do they keep changing the titles? F9, the Fast Saga, the worst one in the series. Fatal Attraction, Blu-ray. Actually, I have the 4K, so I could toss this. Next, we have The Fault on Our Stars. Great romantic type cancer sad movie. Great movie. Ferris Bueller's Days off, Day Off. The Fifth Element. Beautiful. This is the Blu-ray, but I think there's a 4K, but this is a beautiful 4K. Pretty fun movie, too, with Bruce Willis. Finding Nemo. Love this Pixar movie. Finding Dory. Really good, too. Fireproof. Great movie. Five Feet of... Part, another cancer type sad movie, but really good. David Cronenberg's The Fly. We need a 4K brand new restoration of this movie. This is one of the best horror movies ever. One of the best remakes ever. We need a new restoration and get on it now. I love this movie. Great body horror. Everything about this movie is great. Great romance, everything. Forrest Gump, definitely one of the best movies ever made. Fright Night. This got a 4K, but I... This, I got the good transfer on the Blu-ray, but I love this movie. Great va 80s vampire movie. I love the remake too, actually, with Colin Farrell. Great remake. Great time. A little bit underrated. Little generic Fright Night Part 2 remake slash sequel to the remake. It's kind of a remake, but just with a female vampire. Kind of strange, but uh, okay time. Frozen, great thriller about these people get up on a... Uh, Ski Lift, great movie. Frozen, now we got The Fugitive, great 90s action thriller with Harrison Ford. Game Night, fun comedy. Ghost, great early 90s romance thriller, supernatural, Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, great movie, I love this movie. Ghostbusters Afterlife, really enjoyed this movie quite a bit. Ghost in the Shell, the 4K, the 90s anime. Girlfriend from Hell, cheesy as heck movie, but I love this movie. It's so dumb, it's 80s, but if you love 80s cheese, a great movie in my eyes. Girls Night Out, kind of generic, but I did like the, the look of the killer, the, like the teddy bear get up with like the claws, knives for claws, Freddy, but kind of generic slasher from the 80s. Girls Rule Collection, don't make fun of me too much, but I do really like... Mean Girls. I think that's a really good movie. So yeah. And you got Clueless and She's the Man. Another spiritual movie, God's Not Dead. God's Not Dead 2. And God's Not Dead 3. The Blu-ray of Godzilla 2014. Pretty good movie. But I like uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, the 4K. I like this one better. Great, great monster movie in my eyes. Really like this one. Got the classics here, the Goonies, Gremlins 1 and 2, love the Goonies. Pretty fun 80s slasher, Graduation Day, and a great release from Vinegar Syndrome. Gravity, love this movie, there are some stellar parts in this movie, great, great time. Grease 1 and 2, and the live show, Green Day, highly recommend this thriller about asteroids coming to Earth. This was a big surprise for me, love this movie, watch this movie. The 4K of The Green Mile, a great Stephen King adaption, one of the really great movies from the 90s, and the 4K was a great restoration of this movie. Grown Ups, awesome comedy. Hand That Rocks the Cradle, I want a 4K restoration of this movie. I love this movie, grew up with this movie, just a great early 90s thriller. Can't recommend The Hand That Rocks the Cradle enough. Of course, John Carpenter's Halloween Blu-ray, you'll see this movie a lot. I have so many copies of that movie. The 4K of Halloween 2018. Pretty good movie. I like that one. Halloween Kills. Not as good of a movie, but I love Michael Myers in this movie. One of my favorite versions of Michael Myers. The Hate You Give. I haven't seen this in a long time, but I remember it being a pretty good movie. A comedy I love. The Heat with Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock. I thought this movie was so funny. Love The Heat. Awesome movie, Hellboy. Got the still book of Hellboy 2. Really good sequel, I think. Hellfest. Kind of generic, but kind of fun too. I enjoy this uh, movie. Set like at a carnival type horror slasher. Hell High. 
huge surprise. Love this movie. It's it's a slasher, but some great characters. Kind of a revenge flick. It's from the 80s. If you've never seen Hell High, it's a high recommend. Hellraiser Judgment, very okay. Here comes the boom. Decent comedy. Oh, I love this movie. Horrible Bosses, really funny. Great cast, Jennifer Aniston, just everybody in this is great. Love Horrible Bosses. Horrible Bosses 2, good sequel. The House on Sorority Row, of course, an early 80s slasher. Great one, too. I like that one. A great looking 4K of Howard the Duck. Uh, not everybody's cup of tea, but I, I find this movie kind of enjoyable. Got the original cartoon, The Grinch Stole Christmas. Classic. Jim Carrey. Love this version. Saw this in the theater, and I just, this is my favorite version of The Grinch. Love it. How to Train Your Dragon. Great movie. Another great animated movie, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Have I seen the third one? If I haven't, I need to watch it. I can't remember the third one, but they're all good what I've so far. I Am Legend with Will Smith. I Could Do Bad All By Myself. A, a great Tyler Perry movie. I really like that one. I Can Only Imagine. Great spiritual faith-based. Ice Cream Man. Insane 90s horror movie. This movie is insane. Check this movie out. A awesome 4K, the 25th anniversary of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Sony did a stellar job with this 4K. This movie has never looked better. So if you haven't got this 4K yet, high recommend. I'm Not Ashamed. Great faith-based movie. Inception. One of the best movies ever in my eyes. Such an amazing movie. I saw this movie like... Oh, four times in theaters. I could not get enough, and I just love everything about this movie. The Incredibles, amazing Pixar movie. Love that one. Incredibles 2, almost as good as the first one in my eyes. Independence Day, what a great 90s like blockbuster. This feels like a, like a stepping stone to blockbusters now. This movie was so awesome when it came out in 96. Invitation, pretty decent 80s slasher. Recommend the era of video release of that one. Inside Out, love this Pixar movie. Love this one to death. Inner Space, 80s comedy, one I need to watch again. Interstellar, another great Christopher Nolan movie. Sci-fi movie, great movie, especially after you watch it once and watch it again. Awesome. Intruder. This is an awesome 80 slasher set at a supermarket. So if you've never seen Intruder, pick this up right now if you love 80 slashers. The Invisible Man remake, reboot. Love this movie too. Elizabeth Moss is awesome in this movie. Love this one. Initiation. Okay, low budget horror movie. Not the best, but it was okay. I, Robot. This is a movie I love with Will Smith. A great sci-fi action movie. Love that one. Interview with the Vampire, awesome movie, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Chris Slater, Antonio Banderas, love this movie from the early 90s, great vampire flick, and uh, another faith-based type movie about Jeremy Camp, I still believe, good movie, awesome remake, It Chapter 1, love this movie, Pennywise is awesome, love that remake, not as good, but Chapter 2 is still a pretty good movie though, a little too long though, but still good. Jaws, classic. Jennifer Bo Jennifer's Body with Megan Fox. I need to watch this again. It's been a long time, and I bet I will like this even more now than when I watched it the first time. 4K of Jigsaw. Great looking 4K. I was surprised. And I like this movie. I still love the first six movies is where it's at for me. But I thought Jigsaw was a decent like reboot sequel. Like it more than Spiral. Jingle All the Way, classic Arnold. Christmas comedy, love this movie, grew up with this movie. I might have seen this one in theaters, I can't remember, but love Jingle All the Way. John Q with Denzel Washington, awesome thriller. Watch this if you've never seen it. 4K of John Wick, John Wick's awesome. Keanu Reeves was awesome, the action is awesome. Great looking 4K, love John Wick. John Wick 2, I think. This one might be my favorite of the three. I love, love John Wick 2. But John Wick 3, Parabellum is really awesome too. They're all great action movies. 
classic childhood favorite Jumanji about a board game come to life. Robin Williams absolutely love this movie even today. The sequel Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle with The Rock, Jack Black. Really fun movie. I, I like this sequel. It's not too bad. Love Juno. Great like coming of age uh, teenage girl gets pregnant type comedy. Great movie. I need to rewatch that one. Jurassic World, pretty fun reboot of Jurassic Park. Fallen Kingdom, I actually enjoy Fallen Kingdom too. Just Before Dawn, a slasher in the woods kind of Friday the 13th type movie. Pretty decent movie. Just Go With It, just a great comedy with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Really like this movie. All right, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Talk about a way better version of this. I absolutely love this version of Justice League. It's four hours long, but I don't care. This was just a totally different movie than the theatrical cut. Love Zack Snyder's Justice League. Awesome, epic. The Karate Kid is a pretty good remake with Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith, and Jackie Chan. Actually a very su good surprise of a remake. Got Katy Perry concert movie. If you like her, get this Blu-ray. Kick-Ass, I love this movie. Just a fun kind of different take on the superhero genre. Love Kick-Ass. Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. I can't wait for a 4K of these. I really love Volume 1. And if they can put like a cut together the whole bloody affair and put it on 4K, that would be amazing. This is my favorite version of King Kong, Peter Jackson's 2005 King Kong. Love this version. Kong Skull Island, pretty decent blockbuster type summer movie. The 4K, the Steelbook 4K of Labyrinth is the picture quality just like Dark Crystal is amazing. Awesome, awesome 4K. Love this version of Labyrinth. Awesome physical media release. Get this release. All right, if you're still here, definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That'll help the YouTube algorithm. Lady Annabellum concert, great concert if you like them. Another Lady Annabellum concert, Last Action Hero 4K Steelbook, pretty awesome release. Fun movie too with Arnold. Last Temptation of Christ, what a movie this is. Uh, if you've never seen this, I definitely highly recommend this. William Defoe plays Jesus, and this is the Criterion version of this. This will, this movie will get you thinking. Watch this movie. One of my favorite remake horror remakes, The Last House on the Left. I love this remake. I it's very tense. It's uh, has a great cast. I feel sorry for the girl in this movie. Just a great movie. The Last Stand. Arnold coming back from the governor type action movie. I enjoy this movie. It's nothing special, but it's it kind of reminds me of those early 90s, late 80s, early 90s action movies. So I do recommend The Last Stand if you like Arnold. Oh, Law Abiding Citizen. Great movie. Some great twists. Gerard Butler, Jamie Foxx. If you've never seen this, great thriller. Leatherface. Ugh, not the best Texas Chainsaw Massacre by any means. Legend, kind of a fun movie with Tom Cruise, it's like a fantasy type movie from the 80s, but they did pretty good on this uh, new transfer, the era video did. The Legend of Billy Jean, uh, can't say much, I watched it once a long time ago. The Lego movie, I actually really like this movie, I thought it was a fun, fun movie. Not as good, but a decent sequel Lego movie, the second part. All right, classic Disney, The Lion King. Everybody should know this movie, the awesome Disney movie. The Little Mermaid, I actually like this movie. Don't make fun of me, people who watch this. Come on, let me like Little Monsters, kind of cheesy 80s fun. Leon the Professional, 4K. One of the best 4Ks ever of a 90s movie. The picture quality on this was a 5 out of 5. Great still book too, pretty good movie. But yeah, if you... Want an awesome 4K, get Leon the Professional. The only guy that gave me nightmares for seven years, The Leprechaun. Not the best series, but this is all seven movies in one pack before Returns came out. But decent little cheap uh, Blu-ray pack of the Leprechaun movies. Leprechaun Returns, pretty enjoyable movie actually. Logan, one of my most favorite superhero movies ever. A great way to end Wolverine. Just a awesome, awesome superhero movie. Love that one. 
got the Lost Boys 4K with the custom custom slip cover. This slip cover was made by Side Hustle Cinema. So look him up on YouTube. He has made some pretty cool slip covers. Way better than the art that uh, Warner Brothers gave us. Lost in Space, kind of cheesy 90s movie, but I, I enjoy this one still. 4K of Lucy is one of the best looking 4Ks ever. Not the best movie, but just as a 4K disc, demo worthy. Madhouse, it's kind of like an early 80s slasher. I really enjoyed this movie. Some of it reminded me of Happy, Happy Birthday to Me, that other 80s slasher. There's a couple scenes that almost was like the same scene. It was weird, but yeah, I recommend Madhouse. Madman 4K from Vinegar Syndrome. One of the best restorations ever of an 80s slasher still got the grain but this movie looked so great on 4k it's not the best 80s slasher but a pretty good woods slasher another awesome 4k maniac absolutely love this movie joe spinell gives an amazing performance one of the best 80s slashers in my eyes love maniac and the 4k is amazing on this Man of Steel Blu-ray. Love Man of Steel. I think it's a little underrated overall. I think it's a great Superman movie. Next we have Mars Attacks. Uh, really fun, cheesy 90s alien invasion comedy. The Martian. Really good movie. Highly recommend this. The Matrix 4K. Great 4K. One of the best 90s action sci-fi movies. So awesome 4K. Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns. Some of his movies are actually pretty good, so check some of Tyler Perry's movies out. Mickey Christmas 2-Pack. Another Christian faith-based movie. Miracles from Heaven. Love this movie. It's sad. It'll make you cry, but stop making fun of me. But yeah, I love that movie. Mirror. Really cool slipcover. Very generic 90s horror, but it was okay to watch once. Got Glass, Split, and Unbreakable. What a trilogy. Uh, Split, we didn't even know, was a sequel kind of to Unbreakable, but those movies are great. I still enjoy Glass. It's probably the weakest of the three, but this was a pretty kind of cool trilogy by M. Night Shyamalan. Modern Family Season 1 Blu-ray. Season 2, love Modern Family, so funny. Got Season 3 of Modern Family. In the last season four, the last season they put on Blu-ray, I'm still mad about this. Why did they stop putting these on Blu-ray? What an awesome show. The rest of the series is just on DVD. I'm still mad about it. 4K, A Monster Hunter, really good looking 4K. Decent, okay action movie with Mila Djokovic. Monsters, Inc., just a classic Pixar. Love this movie. Got the 4K of Morgan. It's okay, but I, I enjoy it a little bit. You got Anya Taylor-Joy in this one. Mother's Day remake. I actually really enjoy this remake. Same writers of Saw 2, 3, 4. Oh no, from the director of Saw 2, 3, and 4, Darren Lynn Bowsman. But there are some great gory parts, some tense, intense parts. Uh, I highly recommend the Mother's Day remake. Motown 25, great concert. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, really fun action comedy with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Still like that movie. Mulan 1 and 2, pretty good Disney movie. Oh, I love The Mummy with Brandon Fraser. Grew up with The Mummy from 99. Great action, some great horror elements. Uh, big step in CGI as well. So yeah, I love The Mummy from 99. And I even love The Mummy Returns. Love that movie too. I pretend like the third movie doesn't exist, but I love the first two. My Bloody Valentine is a great, great horror remake. I love this remake. It's really fun. They kind of change it up a little bit. Uh, you got Jensen Ackles from Supernatural in here. Love that remake. Fun time. My Girl, come on. Great, great movie with Macaulay Culkin. Love that one from the early 90s. National Treasure, love this movie too. Came out like when I was in high school and I thought, I think it's a great movie. A mystery, history type movie, love, love that one. I like the sequel a lot too, Book of Secrets. Really good sequel. Uh, the Never Ending Story, grew up with this movie. Not as good as I remember, but still a pretty good movie. Never Ending Story 2, I bought this, but I haven't watched it since I bought it. I don't remember much about the second movie. 
got the 4K of the New Mutants now. This is not a perfect movie by by no means, but I still enjoyed it. I wish it was a little more horror like they advertised in the uh, trailers, but I still had a decent time. I mean, it has a good cast. Anya Taylor-Joy, uh, the, the girl from Game of Thrones. So yeah, decent X-Men movie. Uh, just wish it was more horror. New Year's Evil, kind of a generic slasher, 80s slasher. Next, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but I remember loving this movie with Nicolas Cage. I need to do a rewatch on that one. Nightmare Before Christmas, cool animated movie. The Night House, <clears throat> The Night House is a very underrated movie. I think it came out in 2021 with Rebecca Hall. It's kind of a slow burn type thriller, but if you haven't seen The Night House, it is a high recommend for me. It's it's a great watch. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Okay, <clears throat> listen for a second. Love the first half of this movie, and then the movie kind of falls apart. Like, up until Jesse's death, I was really enjoying this remake, and then I think the remake kind of fell apart when we started following Nancy. And I liked... Uh, Christina or Tina, who, however, what's her name in the remake, the blonde, but yeah, I love the first half of this movie, and I do think uh, the uh, actor who played Freddy, he was uh, really good in this. He was a very serious, sinister version of Freddy again, so yeah, I it's half of a good movie in my eyes. I know some people like really hate the remake. Nightmare Weekend, don't remember anything about that movie. Nine of the Demons 2, I think I have the first movie on Scream Factory, but I enjoy the second movie too. Night of the Living Dead, classic zombie movie by George A. Romero. Night of the Living Dead remake by Tom Savini. I actually like this remake. It's uh, really similar to the original, but really good remake, I think, from 1990. No Country for Old Man is probably one of the better or best movies ever made. This movie is so tense. I didn't know where the story was going. Superb acting by Javier Bardem. And he was like kind of scary. Or Bardem. But he was kind of scary in this movie. I thought this was, this is a stellar, stellar movie. You have to check out if you've never seen No Country for Old Man. The Notebook. Romance. I like it. The 4K of No Time to Die. Now... This might be my favorite Daniel Craig Bond movie. I don't know what it was about this movie. It was a great like send off to Daniel Craig and some great action. I, I really liked the story. I was actually caring about the story they were telling in this. Some people didn't love this, but I, I loved No Time to Die. It was a big surprise for me. The Nun, hmm, okay. Orphan, love the first Orphan. Uh, Came out in 2009, but the acting by the, the kid who plays Esther is really good. Some great uh, tense scenes. I love the uh, Orphan. Orphan Black Season 1, really good show with the girl who plays different uh, clones and everything. I highly recommend Orphan Black if you've never seen it. Season 2, Season 3, and Season 4, Season 5. But yeah... A great show. I have not seen season five for some weird reason. I need to get on it. I want to see the ending to this show because it was a stellar, stellar show in my eyes. Great Denzel Washington thriller, thriller out of time. Really enjoy this movie. Overboard. Grew up with this movie. Still love it today. Another faith-based overcomer. Really good movie. Pacific Rim. Decent blockbuster. Paramore, the final riot concert. Pretty good, decent concert from Paramore. Paranormal Activity 3, probably my favorite of this series. Another Passion of the Christ, very sad movie. What a, this was directed very well by Mel Gibson. And yeah, this movie gets you thinking after you watch it. And it's very sad and brutal, just the way they depicted the uh, crucifixion of Christ. Great movie. The Patriot. I haven't seen this that much, but when I, I have seen it, it was pretty good. Pearl Harbor, another Michael Bay. Love this movie. Romantic, epic action like the attack on Pearl Harbor is such an epic scene. But yeah, I love this movie. I just watched this like uh, last night. Pennywise, the story of it. 
Really great documentary on the miniseries. Highly recommend this if you're a fan of the that miniseries. They went to a lot of depth from like from the very pre-production all the way till to like the legacy of the the miniseries. Highly recommend this documentary. A stellar 4K Pet Cemetery. This transfer was awesome. Love this transfer of Pet Cemetery. And this is a bona fide classic. This is the original, of course. An okay remake. I, some people hate on it, but I still enjoy it. Maybe because I love the original so much. It's kind of basically the same story again. Got a Pink concert, which Pink puts on a stellar, stellar concert. I, I'm not lying. She had... She like flies on wires and everything. She she has a great show and I got another show of hers too. Another great concert of Pink. Uh, definitely recommend these two Pink concerts. Pitch Perfect. Love this movie. Uh, comedy, music, everything. L love Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect 2, pretty good sequel. Pitch Perfect 3, another pretty good sequel. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties. Definitely not one of my favorites, but pretty good movie. Pocahontas 1 and 2 Disney Classics. Got the 4K of Poltergeist with the custom slipcover. And this was a stellar, stellar 4K transfer. Poltergeist 2 and 3. I actually enjoy 3 a little bit. With the mirrors and the effects of those, like, with what they did with the mirrors in the apartment building. I I kind of enjoy 3 more than 2 because it feels a little bit different. Point Break, just some classic early 90s action with uh, Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves. Awesome movie. Polar Express. Got this stellar Blu-ray uh, still book of popcorn. Not the best movie, but pretty awesome release from uh, Synapse. Got The Possessor. Uh... Brandon Cronenberg, I believe, directed this. Yeah. Uh, wasn't really my thing. Predestination. Crazy sci-fi movie with some great twist. High recommend. And it's one I need to watch again very soon, too. Princess and the Frog. Kind of a classic Disney movie that was made later. But, yeah, decent Disney movie. Again, if you're still with me, thank you so much. This is going to be easily my longest video ever. But... Princess Bride Blu-ray, love Princess Bride, it's a classic. Let's see, we got Princess Diaries 1 and 2. I really liked the first one. It was a pretty funny movie when it first came out. I liked it. Prometheus, a beautiful looking movie, but not quite the alien prequel I wanted, but just like visually, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Love the original Prom Night, pretty good uh, 80s slasher with Jamie Lee Curtis. And a great release uh, from Synapse. Classic Hitchcock's uh, Psycho. What a awesome early pre-slasher. Love this movie. Norman, ba Norman Bates is awesome. Quiet Place. Love this movie. Very in intense. It's only PG-13, but it's a great PG-13 horror movie. Really good sequel too. I like part two quite a bit also. Remember the Titans. I love this movie. I could watch this anytime. Just a great football movie. Love it. R Risky Business with Tom Cruise. Love this movie from the early 80s. Yeah, love this movie. RoboCop is such an awesome 80s movie. Violent, kind of cheesy at parts, but what an awesome movie. Love The Rocker with uh, Rain Wilson. Great comedy. I got a blast out of this movie when it first came out. I need to watch this again. It's been a long, long time. Got the Rescuers, the Rescuers Down Under, just classic uh, cartoons there. Return of the Living Dead, I actually love this movie. I think it's really underrated. I actually like it more than part two because it's different. It's kind of a romance zombie movie. Can't recommend this one enough. The Revenant, awesome movie, survival type movie with uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. Awesome, intense movie. Got Revenge. I love this movie too. It's kind of a rape revenge flick, but yeah, Matilda Lutz is so awesome in this movie. Great, intense movie. Now we got Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick. I actually love Pitch Black. It's really cool, different type sci-fi movie about creatures in the dark. And you got Riddick who can only see in the dark or whatever. Great movie with Vin Diesel. Got just Riddick, the third movie. 
another great movie. It's a little like Pitch Black, a little bit too close, but I still really enjoy the third one. The Ring Still Book. Let's look at the. Here's the slip cover. Then you got Seven Days with Samara. Just a great looking still book. Love this still book. And we are, I have uh, the other version, which is the Lenticular slip cover from, I think it was a Best Buy uh, exclusive like 10 years ago, but that's a stellar slip cover. And you also get uh, that image on there. But yeah, The Ring is a, one of the better PG-13 horror movies, I think. And it keeps growing on me because it wasn't my favorite thing ever when it first came out, but I just like it more and more. Now we got Rio 1 and 2. Pretty decent animated movies. This is one of the best trilogies ever in my eyes. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Like an 8 out of 10 movie. But then you get a 10 out of 10 movie. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So awesome. This movie surprised me so much the year it came out. The special effects on Caesar is like they look real. Amazing movie. And then the third one, War from the Planet of the Apes, is like a 9 out of 10 movie. Love this movie too. It's just a great, great trilogy in my eyes. Rogue One, decent Star Wars movie. Room, a very good thriller about like a mom and a son. She's pregnant and then she has the kid in a shed. They're trapped in a shed. This is a high recommend movie. And Brie Larson, this was like the first movie I ever seen her in. If you haven't seen Room check it out rosemary's baby it's a classic but it's a little slow in my eyes i've only seen it once it's definitely one i need to watch again you got the runaways pretty good movie with uh dakota fanning and kristen stewart i actually enjoy this movie quite a bit oh i love the rundown with the rock such a fun action movie with sean william scott like this is awesome. This is fun. I recommend the rundown so much. Another The Rock. We got San Andreas. Kind of a like a run of the mill blockbuster, but still a good time. The Rock's good in it. So yeah, I still recommend San Andreas. Now we got a generic slasher, but decent slasher, Rush Week. Oh, Saving or yeah, Saving Private Ryan, one of the best war movies ever. Tom Hanks, Matt Damon, just a stellar, stellar movie in my eyes. One of Steven Spielberg's best. Highly recommend this movie. Now you'll see this series a few times because it's my favorite series of all time. Saw the movie collection. This is the Blu-ray set with the first seven movies. Just love that series. Now we got a stellar 4k of the first saw they remastered this and it looks amazing i'm not lying like it's the best saw has ever looked what a stellar 4k from lionsgate pretty cool but even better let's set those down let's look at the saw 4k still book i mean look at that comes off you got that image underneath you got that image on the back but then you got Dr. Gordon on the back of the still book. I mean, I had to buy every version because <clears throat> the transfer was stellar and every both versions were cool. So I had to get those. That's Saw 4K, of course. Awesome sets. Say Anything, just a classic 80s movie. John Cusack. Scared to Death. Uh, I did not love this, but it's a great release from Vinegar Syndrome. Scary Movie. Love this one and love Scary Movie 2. For some reason, I don't have Scary Movie 2, but it makes fun of Scream. But it was a great, great comedy when it first came out. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Pretty decent, like, PG-13 horror movie. I really like the kids that we follow in this, so I thought it was a pretty good movie. Jack Black, School of Rock. Absolutely love this movie. Great comedy, great music. Uh, love all the kids in this. Jack Black is probably the best he's been in a movie. Love School of Rock to death. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Love this movie too. Comedy, action, kind of a video game type movie with Michael Sarah. Love Scott Pilgrim. Got Scream on 4K. The best it's looked, it's not the best 4K out there, but I still thought it was a great 4K. And of course, Scream is one of my favorite movies of all time. So glad that we have 4K. Now we actually have a 4K of Scream 2. And I actually like the red cover. So with Nev Campbell and uh, Jada Pinkett on there, I actually like this cover. 
This 4K looked better than the first one, but yeah, great 4K Scream 2. Scream 3, I'm sure we'll get this on 4K eventually too. Scream 3 is very underrated to me. It's my third favorite after the first two. I have a big soft spot for this movie. It's way more comedic, but I still love three. Scream 3. I will always defend that one. Scream 4, another pretty good Scream movie. Scream 2022 or Scream 5. 4K is not really worth it. I say the Blu-ray is just fine. It wasn't a huge upgrade, I don't think. But really enjoyed this movie. Can't wait for Scream 6. Not the Shack. Uh, don't remember too much about that one. Now we got the Shallows 4K. This is a beautiful 4K. Pretty decent, fun uh, shark movie with uh, oh Blake Lively. But yeah, stunning 4K. One of the best out there. Can't recommend this as a 4K itself. Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. Really enjoy this one. I actually like Game of Shadows, the second one, even more. like that movie. The Shining on 4K. What a beautiful 4K transfer. Can't recommend this enough. Warner Brothers knocked it out of the park with this 4K. Shivers, uh, decent 70s movie. Sicario, really great thriller. It's in Mexico. Just watch this if you've never seen Sicario. The 4K of Silence of the Lambs. Pretty good transfer. Just classic thriller from the early 90s. Silent Madness. Uh, did not love this movie, but another great release from, uh, I believe it's Vinegar Syndrome. Silver Linings Playbook. Really enjoyed this movie. Uh, kind of a comedy, a little bit of romance in there. Uh, recommend this quite a bit sinister awesome horror movie love this the video tape scenes in this are scary as heck uh ethan hawk is really good in this can't recommend this enough love both of these sister act one and two comedy Whoopi goldberg from the early 90s love these movies sisters decent comedy with tina fey and amy fuller so kind of like the another uh, baby mama kind of they were both in Baby Mama, I believe. The Slayer, uh, okay slasher from the 80s. Smallville Season 10, don't really need this no more. I got the whole series now on Blu-ray. Smile, really enjoyed this movie from last year. Uh, not the most original movie, but a very good performance from Sosie Bacon. I had a really good time with Smile. Snow White and the Huntsman, really enjoyed this movie too. Got the classic uh, Snow White Disney some kind of wonderful i really enjoyed this movie Gr really good movie soul surfer i think this is a really good movie too kind of a, one of those emotional movies again speed on 4k really what a cool still book um i did a review of this when it first came out on the 4k and i did a skit so if you want to check that out that was one of my early on videos but yeah uh pretty good 4k not the best but i i love this movie though one of my favorite 90s action why i have this at speed one and two i bought it for two but yeah two kind of sucks why did i buy this collector's thing Spider-Man in the End of the Spider-Verse 4K, beautiful 4K, really good movie too. I was really surprised by this movie. I had a really good time with this one. The animation was like really cool and everything and that kind of felt like a comic book. Got Spiral from the Book of Saul. Now, this is my least favorite movie in the Saul series, but there's an asterisk. That's my favorite series of all time. So I still enjoy this movie, but... I could live without this one, but Chris Rock did really good in it. Spookies, cheesy as heck. I This movie was like so bad, it's good. Great time though. The Stand, Stephen King's The Stand, pretty decent uh, miniseries. One of the best reboots of all time in my eyes, the Blu-ray of Star Trek 2009. This is the movie that made me a Star Trek fan. I absolutely love this movie. I thought it was a perfect update, but they still acknowledge the past and everything. Perfect reboot in my eyes. One of the best reboots out there. Star Trek 2009. Love the sequel, End of Darkness. Really enjoy this one too. And Star Trek Beyond. 
enjoyed this one too. Just uh, I miss J.J. Abrams as a director. It kind of feels a little bit different directing wise. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, I actually love this movie. It's my favorite of the new trilogy. Uh, kind of uh, close to New Hope, but I still really enjoy this quite a bit. I really like Rey. Really liked uh, Han Solo in this movie. Yeah, great reboot too. The Last Jedi, some of the stuff I really like in this, some of it not, but decent sequel, I think. The Rise of Skywalker 4K, probably the least of the three. It had some great moments, but yeah, it could have been better. Next, we got Straight Outta Compton. Pretty good movie. I, I enjoy this uh, about the rap group. Uh, what's their names? Uh, NWA, that's who they were. Pretty decent movie. Got The Strangers Pray at Night. Absolutely love this sequel. It came out like 10 years after the first one, but this is more like a slasher, straight 80s slasher. Very fun movie. The first one's more of a home invasion. A Star is Born. Talk about one of the biggest surprises of the year when this came out. I absolutely love this movie. It's uh, kind of romantic. It's uh, about alcoholism. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are both amazing in this. Can't recommend this movie enough. And Bradley Cooper actually directed this movie too. The 4K of Starship Troopers. Really fun 90s sci-fi cheesy movie. Uh, the 4K is really good though. Can't recommend the 4K enough. And then we got Star Trek Picard. Ah... Uh, <clears throat> Pretty good first season. I haven't seen season two, but I thought it was a pretty good start to this series. Stepmom and Deep End of the Ocean. Stepmom's a really good drama from the 90s with Julia Roberts and uh, Susan Sarandon. Really like Stepmom. Awesome still book. Streets of Fire. 80s music. I love this movie. If you haven't seen Streets of Fire, can't recommend this enough. Great still book too. Next we got Sucker Punch. An okay movie, but I find it pretty entertaining. Oh, uh, Sudden Death with Van Damme. Come on, 90s action. Love this movie. Super 8, pretty good alien movie. And it's kind of has that E.T. feel because we're hanging out with the kids a lot throughout this movie. Recommend Super 8 quite a bit. Supergirl, bad movie, but I enjoy this movie still. It's like super cheesy. The effects are super cheesy, but I enjoy Supergirl a little bit. Now we got one of my favorite TV shows of all time, particularly the first five seasons. I think the first five seasons is a perfect show. Supernatural season one, Blu-ray. Season two, and I love these classic artworks. Season three, season four. My favorite season, Cassiel shows up this season. Love this season. And season five, the last pretty much perfect season of the show but i enjoy the other 10 seasons there is all right season six season seven season eight season nine season 10 love the two brothers season 11 sam and dean are great characters season 12 season 13 14 and 15 which i i like the ending of season 15 i thought it was a great way to end the long running si uh, 15 seasons but yeah great great show love supernatural oh there's season 15 pretty cool cover all right talladega nights love this comedy will ferrell is awesome in this movie one of the really great comedies in my eyes the Ninja Turtle live actions from the 90s, 1, 2, and 3. Grew up, the first movie still my favorite. Grew up with that one, love it. The 4K of the Ten Commandments. This 4K is like 5 out of 5. The picture quality on this was so beautiful. Even though this came out like in the 50s. Can't recommend this 4K enough. We got Tenet 4K. I need to watch this again. I liked it the first time, but uh, the second time I watched it, I didn't like it as much, but I need to do another watch of this. 10 Minutes to Midnight, generic, low budget, but Caroline Williams is in this from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, but pretty forgettable movie. Classic, The Terminator, one of the best action sci-fi slashers of the 80s. James Cameron's 
actual first movie, I guess, uh, besides Piranha 2, The Spawning. But what a classic. Love this movie. Never gets old in my eyes. Top five favorite movies of all time, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Just a perfect sequel, more action, uh, I think even a better story. The characters are better. What a perfect summer blockbuster in my eyes. One of the best movies ever. Now we got the Terminator, uh, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Really enjoy this show. I wish it went another season. Uh, I thought this was a great underrated show. We got season two Blu-ray there. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. I love this movie still. This is the last good Terminator movie in my eyes. I uh, love this one. Terminator Salvation. Decent uh, Terminator movie set in the future. And that's all the Terminator movies I got. I don't like any of the anymore after that one. How we got <clears throat> an awesome horror movie, uh, Terrifier. Love this movie. Love Art the Clown. Uh, Terrifier 2 was my favorite horror movie of last year. Terror Train, okay uh, 80s horror with Jamie Lee Curtis. Awesome still book of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Great restoration. We are getting a 4K of this later this year. Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Uh, not that great, but I still enjoy this movie a little bit. My favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. This was the first one I ever saw. Still love this movie today. Love Jessica Bill. Just a great, great remake in my eyes. Another great one. The beginning, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A great prequel, I thought. Kind of feels like the remake. Love that one too. Awesome Lenticular cover. Texas Chainsaw 3D. This movie has grown on me a little bit. I know it's like so bad it's good, but I, I get some entertainment out of this one. There's nothing out there. Huh. Can't remember anything about this movie. The Thing pre prequel. I actually love this movie. It's not as good as John Carpenter's at all. But if this wasn't CGI filled, if they actually did the practical effects, I think I would like it even more. Time Traveler's Wife. Great romance time travel movie. Can't recommend that one enough. Another romance. James Cameron. One of the best movies of all time. I'll say it. I saw this in the theater. Uh, romantic, but the once the sink, the once the ship starts sinking, truly epic the way it was done and filmed and everything. Awesome movie, love Titanic. Now we got a good 4K and still book of the original Top Gun. Br like this movie quite a bit, but I love Top Gun Maverick, Top Gun 2. Maybe the best 4K of last year. Probably my favorite movie of the year. I, I go back and forth between this and Terrifier 2. I can't really pick. I love both movies so much. But they just did what they wanted to do like perfectly in both movies. So Top Gun Maverick. One of the best movies of the last year. Total Recall 4K. Awesome, awesome 4K transfer. Kind of cheesy sci-fi action Arnold. But love this movie. Grew up with that one. The remake with Colin Farrell, awesome still book. I actually don't hate this remake. It's a decent time. Taurus Trap Uncut, uh, kind of a creepy movie. I, I, I enjoy this movie, it's from the late 70s. Uh, I highly recommend this. If you've seen that uh, Wax Museum or uh, House of Wax from 2005, it kind of has the feel of this movie. Now we got uh, Toy Story 4K. Childhood favorite of mine, still love it today. Toy Story 2, awesome. Toy Story 3, my favorite of all of them, but they're all like perfect movies. But this movie hit me in the heartstrings. Ah, this movie was perfect in my eyes. Love Toy Story 3. Then we got the 4K of Toy Story 4, which this was great too. I can't believe how great this whole series is. Transporter, awesome Jason Statham movie with uh, some great action. I really like the Transporter. Transporter 2, pretty fun sequel. Transporter 3, I think is the weakest of the three, but it's still a decent time. My first Blu-ray ever, Transformers uh, 2007. Absolutely love this movie when it came out. It felt like another like step in technology, a step in action, a step in CGI. I mean, this movie was awesome when it came out i love the first transformers transformers uh revenge of the fallen 
Uh, not near as good as the first. Love the third movie though, uh, Dark of the Moon. First and third one for me is awesome in the Transformers movies. Love this one. It would have this would have been a decent ending to the series, I think. The Blu-ray of Age of Extinction, Mark Wahlberg's first one. Still great action. The 4K of the last night. Uh, it, I think it keeps going a little downhill since three, but. There was some cool action in this, but yeah, definitely the story was probably the weakest of all of them. Dario Argento's Trauma, okay, 90s horror. Got Trolls 1 and 2, I like those. Ah, the original Tron. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, from the 80s, the special effects were like groundbreaking when it came out, but the, the CGI is kind of bad now but i still enjoy this one for, for what it is but chon legacy is a beautiful looking movie the cgi was stellar when it first came out not a perfect sequel by any means but i still really enjoyed chon legacy especially the soundtrack of the movie uh we got breaking dawn part one and two i won't say much about those twister awesome 90s uh Disaster movie. Love this movie with Bill Pullman and Helen Hunt. Grew up with this one. Unhinged. I really enjoyed this movie. And uh, yeah, Russell Crowe was awesome in this. He was kind of scary in this movie. This was a big surprise for me. I, I really enjoyed Unhinged. Now we got U.S. Marshall Blu-ray. Uh, this is the sequel to The Patriot with Harrison Ford. Pretty good sequel. This time you're following Wesley Snipes and... Uh, Tommy Lee Jones a little more closely. Even got a young Robert Downey Jr. here. Pretty decent sequel. Usher uh, concert. If you like Usher, great concert. Valentine the Dark Avenger. Uh, really cheap. Eh, it was alright. Valerian. Uh, haven't seen this in a long time. Can't really comment on it. Now we got David Cronenberg's Videodrome. Decent 80s movie. Uh, it's not my favorite of David Cronenberg's. It's really different. Now we got Walk the Line. Love this movie about Johnny Cash. Cash, uh, Walking Phoenix. Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon. Love this movie. A Walk to Remember. This just came out on Blu-ray for the 20th anniversary. Don't make fun of me. Love this movie, horror fans. Uh, I know that's who watches my channel. But yeah, love Walk to Remember with Mandy Moore. Wanted, I haven't seen this in a long time, but I remember this being like a really cool action movie with Angelina Jolie and um, the guy who plays, uh, he's in Split, the X-Men prequels, but yeah. James McAvoy, Tom Cruise War of the Worlds, love this remake. Uh, great, great movie, sci-fi movie, action. Even uh, young Dakota Fanning's in here, Steven Spielberg, love that movie. What If, uh, decent uh romantic comedy it's been a long time since i've seen it though the warriors love this movie about gangs in the 70s can't recommend this one enough this is the water world 4k i haven't watched the 4k yet but that's kind of a cool uh still book two years on youtube so you get a super sized video so if you're still hanging out thank you so much uh let's move on we got one of stranger calls and happy birthday to me both uh, pretty good movies. I really like Happy Birthday to Me, early 80s slasher. Really like that movie. Whiplash, uh, still book, awesome, awesome movie. Willow, not the greatest fantasy movie ever, but I still love this movie. It's really good. Witch Trap, kind of generic horror movie. Uh, the Wizard of Oz 4K is amazing 4K. Everybody's seen this movie. What a great movie, but yeah, awesome 4K. Can't recommend the 4K enough. We got the animated uh, Wonder Woman. Decent animated DC animated movie. Now we got the live action Wonder Woman on 4K. I really like the first one quite a bit. I really like Gal Gadot. A very, very good surprise. Very entertaining. I, I even like the romance and everything. Great movie. Not near as good, but I still really like Wonder Woman 1984. I think a lot of people was hating on this movie. I mean, it's, of course, it's not as good as the first one, but it's still a decent uh, sequel. Wrath of the Titans, I, uh, the sequel to the remake. I like this one more than the remake. That's probably why I have it. Wreck-It Ralph, awesome, awesome animated uh, Pixar. Love that one. 
Ralph Breaks the Internet. Love that one too. Really good sequel. The Wrong Turn Remake. I really like this remake. It was uh, different enough from the one from 2003. It kind of had the general concept, but it kind of had a different story to go along with it. Really good remake, I thought. Let's look at a couple box sets real quick. We got The Sound of Music, big box set. Uh, great classic musical, Gone with the Wind. We got Friends, the complete series. Love that series. And Ben-Hur, uh, the 50th anniversary. Great movie, epic movie from the 50s. Now let's get into more individual releases. We got Watchmen, the director's cut, Without Warning, decent uh, 80s horror. Wolverine, I like this one quite a bit. Not near as awesome as Logan, but decent X-Men movie. X, one of the biggest surprises of last year in horror. Love this movie, very fun 70s uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre type movie. Can't recommend this one enough. X-Files, I want to believe. X-Men First Class, love this X-Men movie, one of the better ones. X-Men Days of Future Past, one of my favorites in the series, The Road Cut, love this one. X-Men Apocalypse, uh, not as good, but I still enjoy this one a, a little bit. The 4K of X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now, everybody seems to hate this movie, but for some reason... I thought it was going to be so bad that I still ended up enjoying this movie. Sophie Turner, I thought, did really good in this movie. It's it's not one of the best X-Men movies, but I still enjoyed it for some reason. Two awesome dance movies, uh, You Got Served and Stomp the Yard. Love both those movies. Zombieland. Oh, I love this movie so much. So funny. And a great sequel, Zombieland Double Tap. The whole cast came back 10 years later. Still love that one too. Zootopia, Disney uh, animated movie. All right, this is one of the best 4Ks ever. This is the 2001 Space Odyssey 4K. This is one of the best transfers I ever seen. It's an old movie, but yeah, the transfer was perfection. And it's a great little set too. Love this set of uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. One of my favorite sets ever, Alien Anthology Blu-ray. What a stellar set of all the first four Alien movies. So many special features on this. This is like a physical media dream right here. Collector's dream. Love that set. Got the first four, or the four American Pie movies with the original cast. All pretty good movies. Austin Powers trilogy. This is just such a fun comedy trilogy. Alright, we got Blade Runner uh, with Harrison Ford, the original. What an awesome set. This is like a booklet. It's a three disc set. And it's got like, it's like a book. Really cool set, I think. Pretty awesome. That's the Blade Runner set. Speaking of amazing sets, the sensor set from Vinegar Syndrome's got a hard outer box. You also got this slip cover inside. This is an amazing set. Uh, Sensor is a pretty good movie. I actually have a review on my channel of this movie. If you want to check it out, it's on my channel. And of course, Chucky. Love this uh, awesome set. Great set of Chucky. It's the first six movies. Yeah, without uh, Cult of Chucky. Love this set. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Another great set. A really good movie too. Die Hard, the first four movies. The fifth one does not exist. Love the first four movies though. Exorcist, one of the best horror movies of all time. Great little box set. I think the 4K is coming out maybe next or this year. So that'll be awesome. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, fun movies. Love those. David Fincher, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Really good movie. I need to watch again. I've only seen it like once or twice. Another movie I love is Gone Girl. Love this movie. A thriller that kind of ch changes direction halfway through the movie, but absolutely loved it. Got Home Alone 1 and 2, just childhood Christmas favorites. Pretty nice set of the first four uh, Indiana Jones 4Ks. Uh, fifth one's coming out this year. Next, we have the Jurassic Park collection. I think this has the first four movies in it, so with Jurassic World. First movie's an all-time classic. The Kindred awesome set this is a still book set from uh synapse i believe 
Beautiful set. Really fun cre uh, creature future from the 80s. Can't recommend this enough if you're a horror fan. Four movies from Stephen King. You got Salem's Lot, Cat's Eye, The Shining, and It. I got this for the It miniseries. One of the best action uh, buddy cop series ever. Love Lethal Weapon. I love all four movies. They're coming out with the fifth movie, I believe. I don't need it. I think four is a perfect ending to the series with Jet Li and everything. But I absolutely love Lethal Weapon. Mad Max Anthology. Love Mad Max Fury Road. Such an insane action ride. Love that movie. And we got the Matrix Trilogy. First one's still the best. I don't think they'll ever beat that first movie. How legendary it was. The sci-fi. The storyline. Everything. Perfection. Love the first Matrix. But this thing is jam-packed. Like with Special Futures. Kind of like the uh, Alien Anthology set. So if you love Special Futures. And see how the Matrix movies were made. Recommend this set. Got the Man in Black trilogy on Blu-ray. I uh, love the first movie. The other ones are all right, but the first movie, I grew up with that one. Still love it today. If they ever did a 4K of this, this would be amazing. This is Michael Jackson, the all the short films, the music videos, the long versions. If they ever remastered these and put them on 4K, I would buy them. I would buy it day one. This is Michael Jackson's vision. Just all his music videos. Nightmare on Elm Street, boring Blu-ray box set. Love the movies, but we all want that ultimate box set like Friday the 13th box set from Scream Factory. Maybe one day we'll get it. I hope we get it someday soon. But yeah, generic Blu-ray set of a great horror series. Paranormal Activity 6 movie collection. Like I said earlier, uh, the third movie is my favorite of the whole saga. A lot of kind of weak movies to me, but I did like the third one. Got Predator 1 and 2 and Predators. I actually love Predators. I think it's one of the more underrated Predator movies, but cool little Blu-ray set. Psycho 4 movie collection. All pretty good movies. I love Psycho 1 and 2. 3 is a decent slasher movie with Norman Bates. Psycho 4 is like a prequel and a sequel, but it's a decent like TV movie, but... Great little set of Psycho. We got the first four Rambo movies. Uh, love the first Rambo. Love First Blood to Death. And I love uh, Rambo 4. So, yeah, great set here. We got some 4Ks of Rocky coming out. But of just the first four movies now, when all six movies come to 4K, I will buy that day one. But I'll st stick with this Blu-ray set. Of course, Rocky is one of the best sports series of all time. Rocky's a great character. Sylvester Stallone is awesome. Just love basically all six of these movies. Five's a little weaker, but I still love it. One of the best movie series in my eyes, like where every movie is really good. Rush Hour Trilogy with Jackie Chan and uh, love the first movie. Grew up on it, but yeah, they're all pretty good though. Uh, yeah, love uh, Chris Tucker. Just a fun series in my eyes. Okay, we got the Santa Claus trilogy. Love the first movie. Like the second movie. The third movie is like, ugh, why? But uh, the first one's probably my one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Love the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Uh, Toby Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy. Just a great trilogy, especially the first two movies. I think the second movie is one of the best superhero movies of all time still today. But I still enjoy uh, quite a bit of Spider-Man 3, but great trilogy. I had to upgrade the Star Trek reboot trilogy to 4K because I love those movies. Not a giant leap in quality from the Blu-rays, but a decent upgrade. If you love these movies, I do recommend getting this 4K set. You got the 4Ks and the Blu-rays, and I just love the reboot trilogy. Especially, like I said earlier, the 2009 one is like a perfect movie. Got Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6. Just a classic trilogy. Now we got Suspiria, one of my favorite still books, one of my favorite sets ever. It's a still book, nice slip cover, and you also have a beautiful uh, inside artwork. I mean, look at that. It's like a three disc set. The soundtrack goes along with it. Uh, classic, classic Dario Argento movie in my eyes, a witch movie. Just in the, the 4K restoration on this is 
stunningly beautiful. Can't recommend the the picture quality on this enough. And they even have a 4K that supposedly is even better than this picture quality. I'm happy with this. This is awesome as is. Now we got a beautiful set but uh, of Thriller. This was uh, came out from Vinegar Syndrome last year. Decent uh, 70s Thriller. Um, but like the set I think is better than the movie. But still thought it was a decent movie. I thought sh uh, she gave a... Christina Lindbergh gave a really good performance. Some scenes were hard to watch. There's two cuts of this. I want to watch the uh, the shorter cut without some of the extra rape scenes and all that. But yeah, still, like, this is a beautiful set. Another beautiful set from Vinegar Syndrome, Ticks. I love this movie. It's a super cheesy creature feature. Another stellar box set from Vinegar Syndrome. Picture quality was awesome, too. Can't recommend this enough if you like cheese fest creature uh creature features and we got avatar this is uh blu-ray beautiful movie it's not one of my favorites ever but i i do think it's like one of the best uh special effects movies there is so there's that it's a beautiful on blu-ray now we actually got some dvds believe it or not i still own some dvds first off we got band slam Absolutely love this movie. Some good music. It's like a coming of age teenage movie, but I love this one. It's got Vanessa Hutchins and even Lisa Cujo is in this. I can't recommend this enough. There's not a Blu-ray to this. There needs to be a Blu-ray. But yeah, great movie in my eyes. Bill and Ted 1 and 2, just fun movies with Keanu Reeves. Stoner, surfer dude movies from the 80s and early 90s. Just a good time. Don't make fun, but I love the first movie that I got the Bring It On like five movie collection. I still love the first movie. I grew up with that one. Britney Spears uh, concert. Celine Dion concert. They got Children of the Corn six film set. A uh, couple decent movies in here. A lot of them are kind of bad. Christina Aguilera concert. Click. When this movie first came out, absolutely loved it with Adam Sandler. Great comedy. Haven't seen it in like years. I need to pop this in sometime soon. We got Tyler Perry's Daddy, Daddy's Little Girls. Absolutely love this movie. Another really good Tyler Perry movie. If you haven't seen this, great little drama. Great movie. Now we got the classic Dawn of the Dead from 78. Great movie. Great zombie movie. Classic George A. Romero. Dark Places. Uh, from what I remember, this was a pretty good movie. You got Dirty Dancing on DVD. Uh, I love this movie. I I don't care. Uh, Patrick Swayze, some good dancing. I, li I like to dance, so I got some dance movies. Dixie Chicks Live. I actually like some of the Dixie Chicks music. This was a pretty good concert. Ah, I love this movie. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. What a really fun, fun movie. And this has not been released on Blu-ray yet. Come on, get this on Blu-ray. Love this movie. Got the Drownsman. I actually really like that cover. Kind of a generic horror movie, low budget, but I still enjoyed this quite a bit. Evan Almighty, a really good comedy and sequel to Bruce Almighty. Fame, don't remember too much about that movie. Fun with Dick and Jane with Jim Carrey. Uh, haven't seen this in years, but I remember really, really getting a kick out of this one. Getaway, decent, decent little action thriller movie with Selena Gomez and Ethan Hawke. Now we got God Bless the Broken Road. I've seen this once. It's been a long time, so I can't really comment on that one too much. Got Hellraiser 6 movie collection. You got uh, Hell on Earth 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think. I like 3 and 4. The rest, I don't care too much about i did a full review series on hellraiser if you want to check those out on my channel get my full thoughts on the whole series got highlander all five movies uh dvd uh, first one's pretty good there I, I don't even think i finished the rest of that set classic 80s horror thriller uh love this movie the hitcher we need a Blu-ray of this in the U.S. I think this is just on DVD, but yeah, I would love a HD version of this. This is a great thriller from the 80s. We got all four house parties. Absolutely love the house first house party movie. I grew up with that one. The second one's pretty good. Then they start to go downhill. But if you 
like comedies from the early 90s, even Martin Lawrence is in that one, Kid and Play. Just a fun, nostalgic time. Now we got all four Insidious movies. Uh, first one's really good. Uh, the third one's actually my favorite, but James Wan, these are great little movies. In Time with Justin Timberlake, an actually pretty good movie, and I actually like Justin Timberlake in this, so I recommend this. It's like a sci-fi movie where people, there's like a countdown clock on their arm, and if they like kill somebody, they get that person's time, and they live longer. Pretty decent concept. Two awesome concerts. You got uh, Janet Jackson live in Hawaii in the Velvet Rope Tour. Absolutely love these concerts. I like their music. I like the dancing and everything on those. Just Married with Aston Kutcher and Brittany Murphy. Love this comedy. Rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. We lost her too soon. I think she still would have been in movies today. Kind of an 80s slasher throwback laid to rest. Pretty decent movie. Now we got the second movie, Chrome Skull laid to rest too. Not near as good as the first one, but an okay slasher horror movie. Legend of the Fall, love this movie. I, is there a Blu-ray of this? Uh, if there is, I need to get it because this is a great movie with Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins. But yeah, that's a great movie if you've never seen it. Medea Goes to Jail, just really funny. Another Tyler Perry movie, but I really enjoy this one. We got like a Mariah Carey, I think it's a concert DVD, I'm not sure. Uh, don't remember too much about that. Martyrs is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's a foreign movie, but if you, it has a lot of violence, it ha, but it has a great story. It has some great twists and turns. I did a review, check that out on my channel, but this is like a near perfect horror movie in my eyes. And I don't think there's a Blu-ray in the United States. Come on, this movie is amazing. Get a Blu-ray of that. May, another like 2000s horror movie I like. A really good movie if you haven't seen this. I think it was on Tubi or something like that. But uh, Angela Bates gives a really good performance. Even Anna Faris is in this. But this is a pretty good thriller. You kind of get into her psyche a little bit. She's really strange, May is. But if you've never seen May and you like horror and you like 2000s movies, definitely check this one out. Uh, I grew up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. I still like this movie. It's kind of terrible, but when I was a kid, this, to me, was like one of the best movies ever. Love Power Rangers as a kid. Love these, too. D uh, Mighty Ducks 1, 2, and 3. Love all three of these movies uh, still today. So, great hockey, little kids, family movies. Got the updated Muppets. Uh, pretty fun movie. Got the Muppets most wanted, the sequel to that. Still pretty enjoyable. Got Mythica, the five movie collection. I watched the first movie. I think these were like TV movies. I know Kevin Zorbo's in some of these. Uh, did not finish this set. Never Sleep Again, the Elm Street Legacy. What a awesome, awesome documentary that goes right there with Friday the 13th. Can't recommend this enough if you are. Yeah, if you love Nightmare on Elm Street, you get so much information from this documentary. They go through the entire series. And yeah, uh, it's like four hours long, but it flew by. I I've watched it like twice, I think. In Sync, Pop Odyssey. Don't make fun of me, people. Fun concert. I used to like In Sync. Got Panic Room, an awesome thriller that has not been on Blu ray yet with Jodie Foster. Where the heck is this? Everybody's asking for this. And people will buy it day one. They need to skip the Blu ray at this point and just do a 4K transfer and put it on 4K. What a great thriller. Love this movie. Paper Towns. Uh, don't remember too much about that one. Phantasm, the five DVD set. Phantasm 2 is awesome. Love that one. That one's my favorite. 80s. Of course, it's the only one in the 80s, but great uh, little set there. Piranha, the remake. I, I get a... I have a blast with this movie and like the the attack and the climax is so insane. So much blood and everything. Just a fun little remake. Cheesy as heck, but I, I really like this remake. It's just a really fun time. Pure Country 1 and 2. I love the first Pure Country with George Strait. Just a good like country movie. It kind of feels like the movie was written for George Strait. Some romance and everything. Love the first Pure Country. Now we got Queens of Scream. You got I Know What You Did Last Summer, When a Stranger Calls, The Cave, and Vacancy. 
uh, basically got this for Vacancy. I need to rewatch it. I remember Vacancy being a pretty good movie. Rest Stop 1 and 2, kind of both generic horror movies. Low budget, mm, kind of forgettable. Got more DVDs. We got Rihanna live in concert. Got another set of Saw. Like I said, that's my favorite series, movie series of all time. Uh, just the DVD set of it. We got, it says it's 20 amazing sci-fi films. One of those cheap $5 pack things, I'm sure. Most of the movies on this sucked. I probably tried to watch a couple and that was it. Selena, love this movie about the uh, the singer uh, Jennifer Lopez and like maybe her first star in ro role. Love this movie, grew up with this one. We got Slumber Party Massacre 1, 2, and 3 I think. So fun little slasher series, love the first movie and I really like the third movie too. The second movie goes a little cheesy, a little insane but... Still a little fun slasher series. Someone's watching me. This is actually like a John Carpenter made for TV movie. It came out the same year as the original Halloween. Uh, it kind of has kind of the vibe of Halloween from 78. So it was a decent TV movie. Son-in-Law with Polly Shore. Absolutely love this movie. Great comedy. It's actually set on Thanksgiving too. Uh, yeah, I just... What happened to Polly Shore, man? I mean... What a great early 90s comedy. Really cheesy remake, Sorority Row, but I do get some enjoyment out of this. A couple decent kills in this. The original is way better, The House on Sorority Row, but decent time. I've never seen these. These are like Spawn. You even got the snapper cases. Cartoons or whatever, Spawn, Spawn 2. Stick It, kind of like uh, the gymnastics version of uh, Bring It On. But I actually love this movie, still love it today. It came out like in 2007, 8, even Jeff Bridges in the, is in this. But I get it, I wish this was on Blu-ray. Uh, they still don't have it on Blu-ray, but yeah, Stick It is a pretty good gymnastics movie. I taught gymnastics, so that adds to uh, the nostalgia of this. All right, now we're getting to some movies. Or, no, we still got some DVDs left. Uh, we got Superman 1, 2, 3, and 4 with uh, Christopher Reeve. Uh, the first two are really good. Uh, I even like the third one, and the fourth one's not the best, but these are classic Superman movies. We got all seven Tremors. So I think there's eight now, but love the first two movies. After that, don't really need the rest of the series. Uh, more childhood nostalgia. Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. Uh, not as good as the first movie, but still, a, I love this as a kid, though. We got Under the Dome Season 1. Haven't watched this show yet. Uh, I think it lasted more than one season. I only have Season 1 on DVD. It's a Stephen King adaption. Usher, the 8701-2001 concert. I've had, th this is like a DVD I've had for... 21 years I think I've had this since it came out on DVD it's it still works shockingly and Usher is a great uh R&B entertainer he's a good dancer good singer still love this concert National Lampoon's Vacation uh just a classic comedy ah two Van Damme movies we need 4k's of these I'm begging for them uh Bloodsport and Time Cop I love both of these movies this might be the my top two favorite Van Damme movies. Uh, Time Cop is my favorite, but Bloodsport is awesome. Just some great late 80s, early 90s action movies. Wrong Turn, one through six. Uh, one good movie, the rest are kind of really bad, but one of the weakest horror franchises. Now we got the Scream Factory Creep Show. Uh, great set. Uh, I haven't watched this whole set yet, but yeah, great awesome set with the hard box the unseen uh still need to watch this movie now we got the witch uh i haven't seen this probably since it came out but i am a big fan of anya taylor joy i definitely need to rewatch this i remember it being really good we got session nine another movie i need to rewatch. i haven't seen it in a long long time we got this awesome vincent price set with six movies on it we got the Pit and the Pendulum, The Mask of the Red Death, The Haunted Palace, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Indomitable Dr. Fives, and Witchfinder General, aka The Conqueror World. Definitely need to check these out. I am a big fan of Vincent Price. Elvira's Haunted Hills. Not as good as Mistress of the Dark, but 
This is a really good set. The picture quality is really good. I just need to watch special features on this thing. A sequel I like, The Descent Part 2. I, I have a horror sequels that deserve more love video. It's an older video, but I highly recommend that video. Uh, great little sequel, I think. I wish there was a part three to The, the Descent. Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis, like a sci-fi horror from the late 90s. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. I haven't seen this in a long time, but I remember it being pretty good. Rob Zombie Trilogy, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and Three From Hell. Still haven't seen Three From Hell, but I really liked The Devil's Rejects. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses is kind of out there too. Now we got the first four Daniel Craig Bond movies. Uh, he's really good as Bond. There is some great action in these. Uh, pretty good little set here. Never seen This Dangerous with Mel Gibson. Never seen that one. Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. What the heck is that title? I tried to watch this. Uh, I think I fell asleep, so I got to try to get it a rewatch. It was super, super cheesy horror movie, so I'll try to watch it again sometime. Next, we got the Stellar Tremors box set of Era video, the Blu-ray. Uh, the new transfer is awesome on this, even the Blu-ray. But look at that set. There's so much packed on this box set. Batman, the the Batman cartoon. Never seen this, but looked like something I'd probably like. Raw, love this movie. I definitely need to watch this again. This was stellar. If you've never seen this, highly recommend Raw. Event Horizon, another movie I need to do a rewatch on. This is a Scream Factory version. True Romance, really awesome box set. Wild Things, I grew up with this movie, uh, like a thriller with Nev Campbell and Denise Richards and Kevin Bacon and Matt Dillon. Not as good as it was, but there are some great twists and turns and everything in this movie. And this is another stellar box set from Arrow. Now we got this awesome I Spit on Your Grave box set. Look at this thing. We got uh, the original, the sequel to the original that came out like 40 years later. But yeah, this is a great, great set. There's the first movie. I Spit on Your Grave, Deja Vu. It even comes with a uh, documentary. It even has a booklet, so it's a great set. I need a, I heard the restoration uh, on I Spit on Your Grave is like amazing. So can't wait to check that uh, transfer out. But yeah, uh, I Spit on Your Grave is a pretty effective 70s uh, horror. So rape revenge flick. Next up, we got Pell Blood, an early 90s vampire movie. Vinegar Syndrome release. Haven't seen it yet. Shallow Grave. Still haven't seen this one yet. Creature. Still haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Drop Dead Fred. I'm pretty sure I saw this as a kid, but I haven't watched it yet since. Pig. I uh, heard this was really good with Nicolas Cage, like a revenge flick. I started to watch it, but I didn't finish it, so I need to watch it again. Don't Go in the Woods Alone. Wood Slasher from the early 80s. Still need to watch it. From Dust Till John, Dawn 1, 2, and 3. Really like the first one. I always forget how good that movie is until I watch it again. First half's like completely different than the second half. It turns into an awesome vampire flick. Thor Love and Thunder Blu-ray. Probably one of the weakest Thor movies. Way, way too much comedy. Uh, there, I still like some of it, but yeah, it's just... Really weak Thor movie. Cat People, the 30s version. Um, pretty decent black and white movie. It didn't scare me or anything. It's like almost 100 years old now. But this is a really nice set from uh, Criterion. We got Hot with the uh, custom slipcover from Side Hustle Cinema. So check him out. Like I said earlier, great uh, custom slipcovers. Got Blades. I haven't watched this yet. Probably a... 80s cheese fest but i'm looking forward to it you're next with another custom slip cover great horror movie definitely need to watch this again that's a great movie the 4k a who frame roger rabbit haven't watched this 4k yet but i do like the movie the original king kong we got let the right one in such a great vampire movie love this movie it's a foreign movie too Evil Dead remake 4K Scream Factory. Probably my favorite Evil Dead movie. I go back and forth between the first one and this one, but I absolutely love this remake. It's so stellar in my eyes. Next we got Field of Dreams 4K. I haven't watched the 4K yet, but I do love this movie. Good baseball movie with Kevin Costner. 
We got the One Miss Call trilogy, the actual form Japanese movies. Need to watch these. I'm looking forward to that. Here, okay, here's the 4K Fatal Attraction. Definitely love this thriller from the 80s. Just great performances from Glenn Close and Michael Douglas. Uh, great, great movie in my eyes. Yellow Jacket Season 1. I've only watched the first episode, but so far it's a pretty good show. The 4K of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Not as good as I was hoping from the trailers, but still a really good movie. I really like Scarlet Witch in this movie. Uh, Sam Raimi directed it. It kind of goes into a horror movie feel, especially in the second half. So I enjoyed this movie. It just wasn't quite the movie I was hoping it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot crazier with cameos and everything, but still a pretty good Marvel movie. The original War of the Worlds. Haven't seen this yet, but this is Criterion. Oblivion, really good movie. I uh, need to watch this 4K though. I used to have the DVD of it. Final Destination 5 film collection. Uh, love most of these movies. I don't like 4, but uh, such a great horror series. I love this series. Really fun stuff. Creep Show, the Arrow video version. Uh, Creep Show 2. I need to watch this. Uh, I don't know if I've seen Creep Show 2. Now we got James Wan's Malignant. Crazy, crazy movie. The third act is bonkers. If you haven't seen this and you like James Wan, I definitely highly recommend this. Crazy movie. We got the Dark Knight trilogy, the Nolan trilogy. Uh, my favorite version of Batman still. I like the Batman, but yeah, love this trilogy. Uh, I think it's a near perfect trilogy. I even love the Dark Knight Rises with Bane, but yeah, love this. Uh, my favorite version of Batman still today. Love it. Back to the Future 4K trilogy set. Love Back to the Future. I think it has a perfect script. Just some great effects. It's such a great 80s cheesy time. But I love when they go back to the 50s. I love the story. I love uh, Marty McFly. I love Doc. I love everybody in this movie. I think it's a perfect, perfect movie. And these 4Ks are amazing. Like, and especially part three in the Wild West, that is like a perfect five out of five 4K. I was very happy with the uh, transfers on those. Now we got the 4K set of Mission Impossible. Uh, love this series. I think it keeps getting better and better. Like three on, absolutely love. I like the first movie. Second movie's not that great, but like three, four, five, six are awesome. These are great looking 4Ks too. Uh, Tom Cruise does his own stunts in these. Like, I, I love these Mission Impossible movies. Awesome movies. Now we got the Star Trek, the Next Generation Blu-ray box set. Great Star Trek series. Uh, I wish the packaging was better on this, but the restoration on the show, all the time and the money they spent to restore this in the original series is amazing. Absolutely love this set. Awesome, awesome restorations, like I said. They even redid the special effects, and you could choose to watch with the old effects or the new effects. Great set. Star Trek The Next Generation, the complete series Blu-ray set. Now we got a cheese fest for my childhood, Xena the Warrior Princess. Cheesy as heck now, but I still kind of enjoy this series. Uh, yeah, great time. Uh, definitely doesn't hold up really at all but i love lucy lawless i love some of the episodes of this show so yeah xena warrior princess now we got the x-men trilogy uh love especially the first two movies of this uh x-men they kind of was like the start of the superhero genre the modern genre of superheroes you got this planet of the apes five movie set these are the original movies I absolutely love the original Planet of the Apes, but yeah, uh, really good set. It was really cheap too, but yeah, great set here. Next, we got Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy, the first three movies. Uh, love the first movie, Curse of the Black Pearl. Best one still today, I think, but uh, Dead Man's Chest is a pretty awesome sequel too. There's some awesome action in that movie. But yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy set. And we also got the uh, Batman, the animated series Blu-ray set with the uh, mini Funko Pops. Great animated Batman show from the early 90s. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. We lost him uh, a few months back. But yeah, 
great animated show that still holds up today. Now we got the original Star Trek movies on uh, 4K. These all were remastered and this set is freaking awesome. If you love the original cast of movies, all these restorations blew away the old Blu-rays. So if you have the old Blu-ray set, this is worth the money of getting the upgrade. Paramount, like restored all six of these movies now we got the star trek the next generation movies the four movies of theirs with the uh yeah the next generation cast decent blu-ray set and it matches the original uh, star trek blu-ray set so they went good together but i i do want the 4ks i want them to restore them like they did the first six movies like they did uh, with uh, do it with the next generation movies as well again if you're still with me watching this video oh my gosh thank you for sticking around like i said two year anniversary on youtube i thought i was had to do a mega video all right of my whole collection lord of the rings trilogy box set one of my favorite box sets these are the extended editions the blu-ray this is blu-ray i don't need the 4ks i'm good with this set we got the Ringu Era Video Collection. This is the Japanese movies. Uh, the first one's really good, but I actually prefer the remake to the Ring more. But yeah, the, the first one's pretty good. It's kind of close to the story of the remake, but yeah. Now we got two sets that go really good together. We got the Resident Evil set and the Underworld set, both 4Ks. Yeah, both 4Ks. I, do, I had an unboxing of... Both of these are one video if you want to try to find that on my channel. But I like how they put these sets together. Not the greatest franchises, but I do love the first Underworld. I love that movie to, to death. So yeah, great 4K box sets. This is one of my favorite box sets of all time. Harry Potter collection, all eight movies. Uh, beautiful, beautiful set. This is in my top favorite box sets of all time i even did a video on that if you want to look for it but yeah perfect set uh really good series some stellar movies in this series but yeah love this harry potter set it's amazing next we have boy meets world uh love this series grew up with this series still like it today uh yeah great box set it's just dvd but i'm happy with that three's companies love this sitcom uh from the 70s into the 80s uh john ritter john ritter is awesome in this show can't recommend three's company enough one of the great sitcoms in my eyes great cast really funny yeah love three's company two more great sitcoms you got the dick van dyke show on blu-ray and this was restored and high definition beautiful restoration love the dick van dyke show but i love this show as much Mary Tyler Moore show. This has not been on Blu-ray yet. Where the heck is the restoration of this? Love both shows. Need a Blu-ray of Mary Tyler Moore. But yeah, great sitcoms, classic sitcoms. I never thought this would happen, but they put Charmed on Blu-ray even before Buffy. What the heck? But yeah, I haven't watched a lot of this show about three sisters or witches, uh, but I think I'll enjoy it when I actually do watch it. But it's a great box set you got. All the ind individual seasons. I do a full unboxing of this charm box set if you want to try to hunt it down on my channel. But yeah, if you like this series, definitely recommend this Blu-ray set. And I was really shocked that this was released on Blu-ray. Even, like I said before, Buffy. Okay. I thought Buffy, Buffy was more popular than Charmed. Maybe they're both really popular. But yeah, I was very happy with this set and the way they packaged every season individually that's how you should do a box set like this of a complete series now we got all five or all f the first four shrek movies uh love shrek too i i haven't watched these in a long time but this is a really cool set i like that they're all individual in their own case love it but yeah that's the shrek the whole story blu-ray box set now we got one of my favorite still book box sets of all time this is the 4k first four batman movies on 4k with all individual still books i mean this is a beautiful beautiful set look at that and all the the picture quality on these were amazing i'm not gonna lie on that beautiful restorations i love the look of batman returns on this 4k set but yeah 
Love this 4K set. It's one of my favorite Steelbook sets I have. Awesome, awesome set. All right, I was so happy when re they released the Smallville Complete Series on Blu-ray. Love this series. I'm so glad we got this in HD now. Uh, awesome, look at this. You got like a, just like kind of a paper slip cover, but you do have a hard, hard box on the inside, kind of hard. Uh, you get all the seasons individually, perfect packaging for this. 10 seasons, great or, uh, Superman origin show, love it. So yeah, awesome Blu-ray box set of Smallville. So I love the DVD set too, that's why I kept it. But yeah, this is a great Blu-ray box set, love it. All right, I own this set twice. I'm not ashamed of it because I love this show. Supernatural, the complete series in one box set. 15 years of a show, gotta love it. But yeah, and look at that. You got Sam and Dean on the back. I'll show the inside real quick. But they jam-packed 15 seasons all on these Blu-ray cases. That's a lot of episodes. But there is a booklet that come with it too. A bonus disc. Just a awesome, awesome set if you're a Supernatural fan. Now we got this cheap VHS box set of the first uh, three Alien movies. I just bought this be just because I don't have a VHS player. But I mean, look at that. You got the first Alien on VHS. You got Aliens and Alien 3. So yeah, awesome little set. I really like this set even though I can't play them. But yeah, cool little VHS trilogy set of Alien 1, 2, and 3. Awesome, awesome stuff. One of the best box sets ever, Universal Monsters, Classic Monsters, 30 movies in the set. That's amazing. You got, you know, all these awesome Universal Monsters. Uh, yeah, all the sequels. Uh, yeah, everything's in the set. You even got Abbott and Costello in here, like Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. But like, man, I got this for Christmas one year. It's still one of my favorite box sets of all time. That's the Universal Monsters, 30 film dvd set awesome now we got one of my favorite tv shows of all time house just an awesome character medical drama with hugh laurie house is insane character he's crazy he's mean but yeah love that character love this drama or uh, medical drama but yeah great show love it house the complete series on dvd and every season's individual. That's how you do it. All right, guys. Now we got one more shelf to go. It's mainly my Scream Factory collection. Last year, I did an entire Scream Factory collection. So I won't talk about too many of these. I'll just hold them up real quick. I might talk about a few of them. But I will go through these a lot quicker. Because like I said last year, I went through my entire Scream Factory collection. I do have some more than last year. So... I might talk about those, but I'm going to go through these a lot quicker than I did the rest of the movies. So, all right, Scream Factory mostly. Then I got some other horror stuff on this shelf. Ten to Midnight with Charles Bronson. After Midnight, fun anthology from the 80s. Alligator, uh, awesome 4K. Alligator 2, Alone in the Dark. Uh, Ambulance, really good movie. April Fool's Day, fun 80s slasher, Army of Darkness, Autopsy of Jane Doe, Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours, Awesome Still Book, Battle Beyond the Stars, Big Trouble and Little China, Black Christmas, love that movie, The Blob, awesome 80s fun, John Carpenter's Body Bags, really fun, Body Parts, really good, The Barrer, the Brain Eaters, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, The Burning, classic 80s slasher in the woods, love it. Cage Fury, Candyman, the Candyman sequel with the uh, second Candyman slipcover. Carrie, my favorite artwork from Scream Factory, absolutely love that one. Carrie, the other artwork. Carrie 4K still book, a great 4K transfer, love it. And that's an awesome still book. Cat People, the remake. Cellar Dweller Catacombs. Cherry Falls, early 2000s, pretty good. Child's Play 4K, or Blu-ray. The other one, Child's Play. Child's Play 2, I love this slipcover. Love this artwork, 4K. 
Child's Play 2, other slipcover. Child's Play 3, awesome 4K slipcover artwork. Other Child's Play 3 4K slipcover. I have a lot of Scream Factory, class of 1984. Cobra Action Slasher with Stallone, really good. Company of Wolves of 4K, I was excited for this. Not the greatest movie, but still pretty good werewolf movie. The Craft 4K, Curse Blu-ray, Wes Craven, Werewolf, love it. Curse of the Cat People, Dark Angel, fun movie. Dark Man with Liam Neeson, Dawn of the Dead remake, awesome remake. Day of the Dead, really good zombie movie. Deadly Blessing, Deadly Friend, Cheesy Robot Killer Girl, love it. Dead Space, Dead Zone, amazing Stephen King adaption. Uh, Death Becomes Her, grew up with this. Cheesy now, but I still get a kick out of it. Tells from the Crypt, Demon Knight, love it. Dog Soldiers, Drag Me to Hell, Sam Raimi, a pretty fun movie. Dreamscape, uh, The Entity, Escape from New York, John Carpenter classic, Escape from L.A., Exorcist 2, The Heretic, ugh, terrible. Exorcist 3, great sequel. Eyes of a Stranger, pretty good uh, 80s horror. The Final Terror, Fender Bender, fun 80s throwback. Final Exam, wasn't a huge fan of that one. Fire in the Sky, kind of a creepy alien abduction movie from the 90s, I believe it was. Firestarter, more Stephen King. The Fog, John Carpenter, classic atmospheric. From Beyond, H.P. Lovecraft. The Fun House, really enjoy this 80s slasher set at a carnival. Ghost Ship, not perfect, but I still enjoy this from the 2000s. Ghost House and Witchery, wasn't really a fan of those two. Ginger Snaps, love that werewolf movie. Graveyard Shift, a really good Stephen King fun movie from the 90s. The Guardian, Happy Death Day, fun, fun movie. I like this a lot. I really like Tree, The Final Girl. And a great sequel, Happy Death Day to You. I find this to be a great fun sequel too kind of a different format uh it's kind of more of a sci-fi instead of a slasher but great fun sequel Worcester was a third happy death day hell hole hell night kind, uh, kind of a slower 80s slasher with linda blair but pretty good one uh he knows you're alone the hills run red house of wax a remake i actually really enjoy cheesy early 2000s but i enjoy it House on Haunted Hill remake, The Howling, awesome werewolf movie, awesome 4K of The Howling, great transfer, fun movie, Idle Hands, late 90s with Devin Sawa of uh, Final Destination, and Seminoid, In the Mouth of Madness, more John Carpenter, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, love that 70s remake, creepy, Itsy Bitsy, uh, all right, we're almost getting to the towards the end, guys, uh, next we got Jeepers Creepers, love love that movie. Really like Jeepers Creepers 2. Killer Party, really fun 80s slasher. I, I really enjoyed that. The 70s King Kong with Jeff Bridges and Jessica Lange. Kiss of the Vampire, wasn't the biggest fan of that one. Krampus 4K, Lake Placid, Lawnmower Man, Life Force, Space Vampire movie, sounds insane it is. Lord of Illusions. Uh, Clive Barker, The Mangler with Robert England, Manhunter, pretty good movie before Silence of the Lambs, Mermaid, Lake of the Dead, uh, the Blu-ray was beautiful picture quality, but I don't remember much about that movie, Stephen King's Misery, classic 90s, Motel Hell, cheesy as heck, but I enjoy this movie, ah, uh, awesome 80 slasher, My Bloody Valentine, we got a second slipcover, Naked Cage, 80s cheesy fun, woman in prison movie, really like that one. Nightbreed, the director's cut, more Clive Barker. Uh, Night of the Comet, uh, Night of the Creeps, really like that one, 80s fun. Night of the Demons, love this movie set on Halloween with demons. Such a fun, awesome movie. Night of the Sorceress and Lorelei's Grasp, not a fan of these movies. Ninja 3, The Domination, absolutely love this 80s cheese fest. People Under the Stairs, one of my favorite Wes Craven movies. Pet Cemetery 2, an okay sequel. Phantom of the Paradise, cheesy musical from the 70s. Really enjoyed it. 
Piranha 4K, really good transfer. Uh, Piranha 2, The Spawning, not the best movie, but it's still enjoyable. You got Flying Piranha, John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness, Pumpkinhead, love that uh, cover art. The Rental, The Resurrected, favorite zombie movie ever, The Return of the Living Dead. Such a fun 80s classic, love it. Return of the Living Dead Part 2, definitely not as good. Road Games with Jamie Lee Curtis. It was a little slow. Robocop 2. I really like that sequel. Scream for Help. Uh, don't remember too much. Uh, the Sentinel. Serial Mom. 90s comedy. Uh, really enjoyed that one. Had a really long uh, young Matthew Lillard from Scream in it. Serpent in the Rainbow. Great cover art or poster art. The alternate poster art. Shocker. Shocker. Different poster art silent hill a very atmospheric movie i i enjoy this it's not perfect but i enjoy it silent night deadly night fast becoming one of my favorite christmas horror movies silent night deadly night 2 half of a good movie stephen king silver bullet pretty fun all right if you're still here thank you so much hit that like button man i got a lot of movies single white female early 90s thriller great movie Sleepaway Camp, love that movie. Sleepaway Camp 2, love that movie. Sleepaway Camp 3, not as good as the first two. Sleepwalker, Stephen King, I really like it. Uh, Slither, crazy, crazy movie. The Slumber Party Massacre on Blu-ray. Slumber Party Massacre remake, I actually really enjoyed that, movie, that remake. The Soul Collector, don't remember much. Species 4K, I, I grew up with that one, really like it. Squirm. The, the second half of the movie is awesome, like creepy and uh, creepy crawlers. Uh, yeah, bugs and insects. Uh, Starman, John Carpenter, I really like that one with Jeff Bridges. The Strangers, awesome home invasion flick. Strays, uh, killer cats, enough said there. We are getting there, guys. Superstition, Swamp Thing. Sword and the Sorcerer, really enjoyed this, like this fantasy movie. Uh, great 4K too, from the 80s. Tells from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. Tells from the Dark Side, the movie, pretty good anthology. Tells from the Hood, pretty fun anthology. Teen Wolf, grew up with this, love this movie. Jack Michael J. Fox, love it. Terror Vision and Video Dead. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Uh, Woo-wee! They Live, great John Carpenter flick. One of the best movies ever, The Thing. Love that movie. 13 Ghost, cheesy, but I still enjoy it. The Town That Dreaded Sundown, Trespassers, Trick or Treat, really awesome anthology. Urban Legend, one I grew up with, late 90s slasher, still love it today. Urban Legend's Final Cut, Valentine, same director as Urban Legend. John Carpenter's Vampires, pretty good one. John Carpenter's Village of the Damned, Whispers in the Dark, Witchboard, kind of enjoyable, enjoyed that one. X-Ray and Schizoid. Now we have all awesome 4K transfers of Halloween and awesome outer box, hard boxes. All of these transfers are amazing. So you got Halloween, Halloween 2, and you got uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Return of Michael Myers. And you got all the original artworks underneath. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. One of my favorites in the whole series, The Curse of Michael Myers. Halloween H2O. And Halloween Resurrection. All these Halloween 4Ks are stellar. If you love these movies and you want the best picture quality ever on these movies, you have to get these Halloween 4Ks. Awesome, awesome transfers. Still got my favorite... Horror series of all time, movie series. Saw the DVDs. I still love all these artworks, so I got to keep them. And these have all the special features on them. Saw 2. Awesome artwork. Saw 3. Saw 4. 5. And 6. I don't have 7 individually on DVD, but I still love these uh, Saw DVDs. I'll never get rid of these. Now, these were two of my favorite box sets of last year. The 4Ks are stellar. Dario Argento's Phenomena and Tenebrae. These are two amazing box sets from Synapse. You got booklets, you got 
the amazing transfers, everything. These are perfect box sets in my eyes. Love both of these box sets. Oh, look at the artwork on the back too. Awesome stuff. Love these. All right, guys, we just got a couple shelves left. Almost there. We got the Friday the 13th 10 set. This was the original Blu-ray set of all of them together. Still love this set today. Ah, oh, and Hellraiser, the Scarlet Box. What a truly amazing set this is. Love this set too. From Arrow, pretty good transfers too. All right, we got the Hills Have Eyes Arrow video release of Wes Craven's movie from the 70s. Really good horror movie, but I also love the remake of the Hills Have Eyes, and this has one and the sequel to the remake with it. But yeah, great sets here. We got two amazing Scream Factory box sets, the Fly Collection with the first three flies, the remake and the sequel to the remake. Always have loved this artwork. All individual movies in there. Vincent Price on the back. You got the Omen Collection, same concept. Awesome artwork. And you got all the individual movies. Both of these sets are freaking awesome too. Love these box sets from Scream Factory. Couple more Scream Factory box sets. We got Critters and the Amnaville Horror Trilogy. Individually wrapped, or individual movies. Hard box. This one's soft. This was one of the early releases, but two more great box sets from Scream Factory. We got Pieces, an insane gore fest from the 80s. Absolutely love this movie, and this is a great release from Grindhouse Releasing. And we got the Wreck box set. First two movies are great. Three and four isn't the best, but I still like this box set. And this set of pieces is pretty awesome too. I got three more sets left and that's it guys. Got the Bad Boy Friday 13th box set. My favorite box set of all time. I mean, just a look at this artwork. I'll say it every time, just amazing artwork. Awesome fun series. You got all the movies individually. For me, this is like a horror movie's dream who loves this series. The first four movies got 4K transfers. Just a beautiful, beautiful set. We got the Puppet Master set. This is an awesome box set too from Full Moon. Got all the movies in there. I think there's like 11 movies in this set. The box is softer, but it's still a stellar set. If you like Puppet Master and physical media, you will love this set. Awesome set from Full Moon Pictures. And last but certainly not least, my all second favorite box set of all time, Halloween. But this was like the most exciting announcement from Scream Factory ever, I think. Absolutely love this box set. Look at this artwork. You get all the individual movies inside the box. I will never get rid of this even though I have the 4Ks. Absolutely love, love this Halloween box set. You even got the two Rob Zombie Halloweens in there. Amazing. Holy crap, guys. If you somehow watched that entire video of my entire Blu-ray 4K DVD collection, give me a thumbs up. And you guys deserve a thumbs up. I will be seeing you guys really, really soon. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.